You ready, Ham? You ready for this? You ready to get started? Are you going to help? Are you going to be my helper? Okay. He's just, just finding out. Let's make sure our lighting's right. Whoa. Who in the heck is that? Hamilton, look. Look at it. I know. This is going to be great. Okay, here we go. Let's let them in. There's four waiting. Let's see who's first. Carl, Lee, Bob. Bob. Romero. Let's see. Who's going to do it? Who's got the quickest internet? It is Carl and Romero. Boy, they're tied. Almost. I think Carl was in like a second, maybe half a second faster. It's hard to say. We talked first. We talked first. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He was here. Hamilton was going to be hanging out with me. We started recording early so that we could talk about it before him. But no, as soon as you guys got here, he freaked out and left. Bob, you're here. Yeah, I'm just going to hang out till till the first round. And then I'll leave before we start the questions. I can still socialize. Oh, okay. All right. Plus, if anybody wanted to hear more details about Monday, I could do that. Oh, my gosh. You poor thing. It was weird. So you better I've tell never, people. I, we are recording. I've never, I've never had a, I've never been on a drug trip, but I, I think this might be something like that. I've been drunk, but you're not, you know, it's, it's more your mood and your impaired and stuff, but you don't question reality. This this one, there was there was like this alternate reality that I kept slipping into. And I would say, no, that's not, you know, and somebody would say something that would pull me back into the into real reality. But it wasn't quite right either. You know, there was like a halo around things and there was like a vibration. You know, things didn't didn't quite look right. Even, but that was that was real reality. But this, and then this other stuff it was very similar to real reality. But I could just tell, no, this isn't reality. Now you're in your head. This is. Were you on? And I couldn't tell. Were you was, sick? Like, did you have? Huh? An were you on drugs, or were, did you have an infection? They never figured out what it was. Infection. They did a CT scan. They did an EKG. They took mm -hmm. blood, urine, and I eventually got got better. By, by by about six o'clock, about the time we were getting ready to leave, they said, we don't know what it is. You're, you're, it's clearing up, I guess. Why don't you go home and go see your doctor at some point? So I was, you know, I was, I was still a little bit loopy, but the, that, that other reality wasn't bothering me anymore. I, you know, I was in, in this reality, but um, I still had some aphasia, you know, I, I couldn't come up with the words I wanted. And had a little tremor in my hand. I so like and then, you had a TIA. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was septus. It sounds like I, septus. If it was septus, if it was sepsis, he would still be admitted into the hospital. Well, not if it, yeah, they it would cleared have, up it would have, quickly. No, sepsis, sepsis sep will not clear up like sep <laughs> sepsis is not transient like that. Yeah, sepsis is yeah. basically you've been like that's what technically killed Lisa Marie Presley. Yeah. Yeah. And I wonder, got my mom too. Well, that scared. I wonder. Me. Was... Well, it scared me when they said the complication because I started reading about it because that's something that could happen to me. But then when I realized, oh yeah, she'd been sick for months and never saw a doctor. Yeah, that doesn't help if you've done that. No. Hi, Lee. Good to see you, Lee. But, Lee no, I no. wonder if it was no. some some environmental toxin or something, something that. I think the chickens did. Do you have any toxic mold in. anywhere? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Maybe awesome. Smurgat. Chickens will do that yeah. to you. Hey, Bob, Richard, you're, you're gonna here. check out because I, yeah. I started having funny feelings and then woke up twenty minutes later in the emergency room asking. They were asking me, "Who's the president? What day yeah. is it?" I guess. Yeah, and, um, yeah. and I ended no, up getting diagnosed yeah. with uh, epilepsy, and I'm on drugs. They did all that. My life. Epilepsy. They asked how me how old, old I was. I said 67 years and 11 months because it was the 17th and my birthday's on the 8th. 
17th of <laughs> August. So it's exactly. You didn't give him the hour? No, it was, it was two in the afternoon. So yeah, it was, <laughs> that was pretty close to the, yeah. Wow. Bob, well, what? we're happy to have you here. We don't want Well, I, so I'm, so now I'm going to, now I'm going to go, well, I'm, I'm going to look at, you know, different lifestyle things and, 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 um, I think you should start partying and drinking and, and drugging yeah. now since you've, uh, not been doing that well, all along. Yeah. But I, I, just in case it has anything to do with sleep, I just decided I'm not going to, for a while, we'll see how it goes, but, but I don't want to stay up past 10 o'clock. So I'm, you know, I'm just going to hang out with you guys until the game itself starts and then I'll take off and okay. do stuff and, and get ready for bed. So as long as we know you're yeah. around. Yeah. So. Good, good. Faith and Romero here, or Romero is here. I don't know about Faith. It's just some guy. Yeah, I don't. I don't know Vegas. where I am. I'm still recovering. Her name's yeah, not on the screen, so she's not officially here. So. I Carl, don't exist. Mm -hmm. Carl went and gave a bunch of gave a brand new round of trivia questions to Brian Dunning because he asked. Oh, no, I gave him. A, I gave him a used round. Oh well, I gave him like my five very first used rounds. I gave him my very first round I ever did. Oh, well, I just oh, gave him a whole bunch that looked like science oh, well, related. That must have sucked. You didn't know what you were doing. We didn't. <laughs> I picked something like, uh, I picked out like five that were really similar to, um, uh, oh, no, and the like the last year. So I think they're all probably well done. So that's fine. You, Lee you hung out with us the other day. We did other a, people's trip that you don't have copyright to. Ah, it's mine now. Uh, we did a, a psychic thing uh J janice and uh, adrian and i and lee was there most of the time i think all the time right yeah yeah what did you think of that fascinating and it was kind of fun to play detective while you guys were talking and finding mm -hmm. finding out who she actually was talking to yeah that was weird i went back and watched most of the part of the video today we missed a ton of stuff um we were taking notes and there was three of us and then the Facebook group, there's a lot of stuff we missed. And so I think what I'm going to try next time is I'm going to make us, I'm going to do a shorter video, like three minutes long, and I'm going to make us watch it without notes. Like the sitter's doing, you know, we can't obviously be in the same situation the sitter's in, but to watch it without notes and then, then repeat it back. Like, so what happened? What were the hits? What were the misses? And see and see how we do. And do like a whole three minutes, not like, you know, every minute or so coming back. So I'm curious how we're going to do. And so we're thinking of doing that. And then, you know, you watch the three minutes. You talk about what, what we're three people not in a stressful situation like the sitter is. Mm -hmm. What do we hear? What do we see? And then repeating it back and then going back and looking at it. I think we're going to try that next. And tomorrow we're doing something. I don't know if you saw, we're doing FC. So Janice has got one of her, her facilitated communication videos and we're going to watch it. She gave it to me, but I'm not going to look at it until right then. Can yeah. you hear me, Susan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were, you were talking on the phone. This is really weird. I can barely hear any of you and I'm I'm looking through all my settings on my system here. It's because we're so far and... away. Ha ha ha. ha. <laughs> uh, I so enjoyed... That. Oh, hello. What's this? Yeah. Testing hey, one, two, three. No? We can hear you. Can you hear us? I am a. I am insulted that you got. You got seven, seven, seven on your roll last. It time. was true. I got. I predicted seventy-seven. Then I changed my mind. I rolled the dice, and it was seventy-seven. I as soon as you it. said, "I'm gonna change my mind," I said, "I bet you it's gonna be 77. Yeah. So said, and you never change your mind when you're doing that kind of thing. Um, but, and I, as I, hello, what's this? I wasn't as sure I said you, on the show. I mean, I could cheat, right but now. why bother? And because ninety nine percent of the time, even if I guess or anybody guesses, it's just completely random. It was completely. That's why I said I wish I'd um, recorded. I'm gonna have to switch to headphones. I can't hear anybody. What's going on? But you know Seriously. what, Richard? It's still even if even if you recorded it, we would still think. 
how many times did he have to record it to get to that? <laughs> well, the one you time it win. actually worked was when you predicted 555 five, five, and it was 555, five, five, which was real. And people say, oh, that was just a joke for Susan. But no, we were there. We were there. We saw that. Hang on a second. It was Let's startling. See. It really was. Richard, Richard can't hear us. Ah, I can talking. hear you now. I can hear you. You are on the other side of the Hi, world. Kyle. Good evening. How's your shoes? Hi, Kyle. Good. Hey. <laughs> we should catch up, Kyle. I'll be in town um, uh, August. When are you arriving? Like do you know? Yeah, I, I, I'll be in uh, the Bay Area on the 1st of August, and I'll be there for a month. Wow. I'll be giving a talk in uh, Berkeley on either the 12th or the 13th, as soon as the Bay Area Skeptic set, uh, set me up for a date. And it's the Skeptical Box of Tricks talk. So power balance, spoon bending, water divining, origami, and more. I'm and the looking forward to it. The premium wine card. Hmm. I just heard your episode on that a couple of weeks ago again. What a bunch of bull hockey. You know what? I can't tell one wine you, from another. You can sell any, anything to anybody if you can sell that. I love the wine card. Actually, that's it's, the it's most amazing. believable. Or not believable, but I'm not surprised. There's so much wine oh nonsense. God. Well, no, it wasn't just what was beer. It was water. It was anything. You touch a piece of metal to the glass, and it changes the chemistry. That, like, how stupid do you have to believe? I'm sorry to believe that. I tell you what, I'll bring it with me. Oh my God! Rob is just the kindest out there. Oh my there. God! There I'm sorry. Is. Does that one work in the northern hemisphere too, or I don't know how oh that was? He has to hold the card upside down. It, it might it, make it, the wine taste worse in the northern hemisphere. <laughs> you know what? Richard, was, was Jesus using that when he was converting? Um, <laughs> probably. What, Bob? It works just as well in the northern hemisphere as it does in the southern hemisphere. Yeah, he, the, he's on a laptop. The wine swirls backwards, right? I did I notice, should... Richard, one time you mentioned the price of it, and then the next time in, I think, the same episode, you mentioned that it was like double. So one of those yeah. was wrong. Well, um, it's not, actually, I, 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 um, I know that, and I actually corrected it in the episode where... I momentarily I get confused. Part. Yeah, because they had a deal. They had one for sixty dollars or sixty-five dollars, and two for one hundred and twenty. So I was getting <laughs> my or something like that. Oh, it's Adrian Hill. I've heard hey, of Adrian. Hey, Adrian. Look at the studio. Oh, hey, Adrian. what were you saying, Bob? I couldn't hear uh, you. Richard, Richard should should come into the call on his, on a phone and then go in the bathroom and flush the toilet and let us watch <laughs> the water go the other way. <laughs> We could do a live feed on that boy. Our hey, our our uh, uh, channel, the YouTube channel, would just go nuts if you, if wouldn't you that be that. Would, wouldn't that's that be the myth that needs debunking right there. So, now, a a Adrian, Adrian, yes, I've heard you on another podcast in the last week. Which one? What? You hussy, the European Skeptics podcast. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I haven't heard it. Didn't you get yeah, yeah. to non-compete? <laughs> where, where, where? He's gonna duck your pay. The the, the segment is introduced. Where on where um Pontus says that Adrian is Hill is a reporter on the Skeptoid podcast. Oh, <laughs> wow! In the Yay, darling! I had I had a nice Zoom call with uh, Andras the other day. We caught caught up because I haven't talked to him in like in person or all. Like talking, talking. It's so long. So I had a nice call with him, and uh, it's nice to see him um, around and stuff. He wants. He's looking for a way of making a, a skepticism full time. He's going to talk. He's going to talk to his his Hungarian buddy uh, George Soros. He keeps huh? saying, you know, they blame George Soros for everything. I don't know why we just don't just try to get him to fund us since he's. Since he's yeah. always blamed for funding us. Yeah. Hey, Susan, you know that I, when I come over this time, I'm hoping to come down and visit you for a couple of days, right? Mm -hmm. What yeah. say that we canvass the possibility of me doing my workshop down there when I come to visit as well? Ooh, that's an idea. For Monterey or something. Yeah, that's an idea. I have... Um... I am waiting to see what's going to happen because I'm going to go up to the Bay Area. No, Bay Area. I'm going up to Seattle, I think around the 10th of August. All right. 
something like that. And um, well, I've got I've, <laughs> I've got all month. I'll be leaving on the 29th. Okay. Going up to Oregon, and that night I'm doing a Skeptics in the Pub in Oregon. Oh, you're going to Oregon last? Yeah. Well, that's good. Where are you starting out? You going to go to L.A.? No, I'm going straight to the Bay Area. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Hi, Carolyn. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. She says, I'm okay. <laughs> is, is it anybody... I'm honestly very, very tired, so I hope I make it to nine tonight. So. You have to. Nine is talk. when? That's uh, three it's hours. Two hours and 45 minutes. <laughs> it's 918 here, so yeah. Goodbye, Bye. Carolyn. Hi, Alan. Bye. See ya. That's nine. <laughs> um, Susan, oh. have, have you been, has anyone been listening to Wiseman's new podcast? I yeah, used yeah. to, and I'm behind so, on everything. So so you really want to listen to the episode from yesterday, Communicating with the Dead. Yeah, somebody oh, else posted that, uh, like, tagged me and said hey don't you got to watch this yeah, yeah does he mention me i'm not through it yet i'm about a quarter of the way through it he starts with the fox sisters and where he claims that's where it all started regarding anyone talking to the dead i find that hard to believe uh, yeah that's yeah. not right modern yeah yeah but anyway he, he goes through how, how medium ship tricks change yeah it was mesmer like. first so Ancient yeah, but I would I, I would even believe that the ancient Greeks or Romans had somebody claiming they could do it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure it was a yeah. common thing. The ancient Sumerians, if you had a you thought you had a ghost in your house, it was some re relative would come back to bother you, and then yeah. you'd go to yeah, the, yeah. the the exorcist, and he had these spells to to tell Grandpa to get the hell out of there. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's I can see him that, saying that, it was modern, that, modern spiritualism. No, he didn't, didn't come across that way. I've talked to the dead. They just didn't talk back. Right, oh, right. you're such a smart right. ass. So for those of you who saw my message or heard my message this morning about the cat, yeah, what she did. Do you have a? Do you have the power band there? What did she do? Oh, the whole part's gone. The power she, band? She ate yeah. part of a power band? They're all broken and chewed up. See? Well balanced. I think Gary Geller was there. Does that mean she has now consumed their power? <laughs> yeah. If you Is saw my balanced? post, Richard, I actually have a friend whose cat had to have surgery because uh she swallowed a whole bunch of rubber bands and they wouldn't pass. <gasps> So you know what I should be grateful. My good. cats are boring as hell, but they've never, ever, ever swallowed anything or done anything like. Well, that you know about. Dog it. ate one of. I want to know if Richard's drink. cat can now find underground water. <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably now a divining cat. <laughs> oh, Susan, what's the latest with your cat visitor? Oh, we haven't seen it again. So, you guys, I have this cat. Um, cat door that only allows cats that are microchipped and i had to program it in to get in and caspian okay. came while i was down in uh, la and he said there's a he came into my house he says there's an orange cat in your kitchen and it can't it wants to get out but it can't get out and i'm like well what are you talking about he said and so he says it left uh he went outside to get a um what's it called a uh, some gloves because he didn't want to pick it up because he thought it was a stray and it turns out it left because Cass when he left he left the door open so what I think it happened I, I noticed this a couple days ago one of the cats came in my cat door and it didn't close all the way so I think I need to sit and clean it or something and see if there's some gunk mm. on it or something because a cat hair you know gets on the door that's what I think it is is that the door didn't close quite right didn't latch and so here comes a stray and it comes in and it can't that get goes. out because you have to have the microchip to get out also. So that's what I think. Oh, that's it. really odd. It shouldn't be that way. Well, if the door does maybe, wait, maybe the, your cat intentionally let the other cat in. It's like follow right behind no. me. Come on. It should no. be what out no, I can set it so that my in. cats can't go out or my cats can't come in or both or so I have it set so you have to have the microchip to get out and microchip to get in. I know maybe. I should set it so they should just be able to go out, huh? Yeah, like yeah. Because maybe they got the orange cat to come help them figure out how to like rig it, you know, and they didn't want the can't tell the humans that we know how to that's do that's true. Yeah, I don't know why I have it set so that they have to have the no reason. I never thought about it. I will change my ways. My cats will be grateful. They don't have to sit there. Well, we can sit up well, we can hear them. That's the thing, is you can hear them going out and you can hear it click it, click it, click click. 
right now I can hear them. And then, so you just kind of feel like, you know, what's going on. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't change it. They might, they might, um, who knows? Did I miss, did I miss the mystery solved of the orange cat? How yes, the orange it's cat amazing. Kyle's going to tell you right now. Tell him, well, Kyle. The mystery remains. Only Caspian saw it. And uh, we don't know how it got in or got out. Has it been spied again? Mm -hmm. No. I, you know, I was, I was sitting outside and I did see across the street, it, looked, it was nearing dark, so it's hard to tell. Could have been a chupacabra, but it was, ah. um, I think I saw an orange cat. It could have been a ghost cat. It could have been. No, I think right. what happened is, um, Karen, is that <laughs> I noticed that the other day or yesterday, one of the cats was, the cat door was just slightly ajar, like um, it didn't latch all the way. So I think that's what happened is I got to go look at it, make sure it's clean and and it's I attaching. The, but I think it just, I think when they came through the flap, it just didn't latch. Or the ghost cat hypothesis, it could just pass right through. So consistent with like, available evidence. Like a kidney. I, I talked about ghost cats on the, on the yeah. show. Yeah. I mean, it could have been my cat. Ghost cats and cats who see cat. ghosts. Hi, Dean. Hi. Good to see hey, you. Susan. I like your backgrounds back again. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. beautiful. Is that a roux? Yeah, and I good. see a kangaroo over here. Trican only stay till but yeah, if you go visit Adrian Susan, you can get some of Richard's errors. Yeah, he's got a website and everything, no. you guys. Not yet. I, I got Not mine. Yet. I got mine in Calgary from uh -huh. Adrian. Mm -hmm. Um boys and girls, I have a, a podcast podcasting question. I got these two cheapy things on sale at Walgreens, and I'm just wondering if they're even worth using. Um, unblur, unblur your picture. We, I, it's all blurring. Well, Heads, head I, headsets? No, it's no. not. It wants to see you, Alan. It doesn't want to see the writing. So. All right, hang on a second. What I forgot how to do it. What am I? What am I? Um, Go to video. Here, I'm gonna pray for virtual you. Virtual background. Virtual background. Dear not. God, can you make it possible for Alan? There you go. Okay. That worked. So, are they backward? Do you guys see them backwards? I'm I don't casting know. microphone. Lift them up yeah. a bit. No, no they're correct. Um, so, I, I don't mean, see do, why they wouldn't be good. Are they compatible? I mean, do you use them both? Do you use them together or what? <laughs> no, pick oh, one. Slightly, no. Separately. Uh, no, separately. No, that one. That one with the that has the one uh, earphone uh -huh. and the and the microphone. That's yeah. a complete set. That's what I use at work when I talk to people at work over like teams. I use teams at work. Oh, I'm so sorry for you. Because <laughs> the guy, the guy in the picture here is using both. He's smiling. Well, so the one, I think that you should use one with the guy smiling. The guy one, in which well, picture? There's two yeah. pictures. <laughs> one has everything. Well, the guy in this picture is has because uh, they're both Vivitar. Oh. So he has he has the he has the microphone, but he also was wearing this thing. No, huh? You you could do what you want. Oh, but, is it the same but thing? The one, but the one <laughs> with not? the microphone on it, that, that's all you need. If you choose to use it, it's got an earpiece and a microphone, so it's complete. Just like are they, are they any good? I mean, I don't even, I just know they were real cheap. You know, um, I you know that, what you want to do with them. If you want to just talk and, and hear you know, over like something like Zoom or, you know, if, if you're just interacting, you know, like a phone call. Yes. It's so what's the brand? Alan, Alan, you see my video? This is a microphone yeah. here. Yeah. But it, it sucks. So I'm not using it. I actually have a much better mic that was double the price of the whole headphone set. So right. I, use the, I use the headphone part of this without the microphone and the microphone, which is a better microphone. So, okay. Cause I mean, this has a nice picture. I don't know if it's yeah, any good. I tell you, he's smiling. I, I'd use that That's one. right. You know, so. He looks very happy. Well, Definitely I'll try them. They're, 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 they were cheap. They were cheap. I'll try. I'll try. Yeah. You, you, when you, when you plug it in, Zoom will allow you to pick one as the, like if there's two microphones mm -hmm. and one on each device, it'll say, which one do you want to use? You have to set that. But you're not, when you're doing a podcast, you're not using Zoom, are you? Like, no. what are you using? What are you using? Do you have a special program to, to do podcasting? Um, there are many, many to do podcasting. But what, 
I think you mean by that is how do I record or how does a podcaster record? Well, we, I use various microphones I've got around here in the studio. Oh, like God, you one. started him on the conversation. Oh. Who, who did this? <laughs> oh, my God. But I, record, I record into this device, which captures the audio, and then I use that audio later to edit. All right. So what, what, what is your use case, Alan? Well, no, I, I, I mulling over do, doing some sort of a little podcast, a little nothing podcast, uh, but uh, um, I, I'm not sure, you know. Right. So. A lot of work. For that, you would want a higher quality. Yeah. It, is it just going to be you, Alan, or will there be another voice on the podcast as well? I was just thinking just for the hell of it, I was just going to do real short stories like little s little short essays so it at least for time being it, we, it would be just me doing an essay maybe once a week and just do a little silly little two a uh, couple of minute essay you know for for nobody to listen to if it's a couple yeah. of minutes you could use tiktok you'll get bigger viewership <laughs> oh, especially if you twerk while you're doing it <laughs> no if you talk like you're an ai npc you'll make a lot of money because that's the big trend alan right. i think you yeah. should do it with ron and do steiner talk <laughs> yeah, you're right. That'll be exciting. And then you guys don't have to talk about cars. <laughs> That's Hi, right, Peggy. Right. Well, Alan, let me show you something that I did. It, it's sort of like that. Uh, it's a it's a little video, it only goes for about a minute, where I fed my microphone via that recorder directly into my camera well, and videoed anything. at the same time. Hi, Troy you can. Started. Wait a second. Let me see if I can find Hi, it. Troy can. Also, they had they had this. This is all at Walgreens. They also had a little. Uh, they had a um, um, a, a camera. Would is would it be worth getting one of those little cameras, or just using the one on the uh, on the computer for now? The one on the computer, uh, the camera on the computer sucks seems compared good. to what you can get. Well, except that I was going to do it. This was going to be an audio thing anyway. I, hope you don't was, get I, I wasn't going to do for uh, video. Oh, well, we'll so pray then, for your computer matter. to stay on. Mm -hmm. All your premium gear comes from Walgreens. Hi, sure. Leonard. <laughs> that's right my <laughs> wife works there that's so we get it cheap hey ron there's i just posted a little video You're doing a podcast you your, with your brother did you know that read um, my name yeah hi jane jane, jane in california oh you mean you don't do podcasts yet <laughs> oh whoops you have a good voice ron for it i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> oh am i on am i am i can you hear this Shit. Sorry. Yeah, I can hear you. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, I can. Well, no, this is it's. I, I'm, I'm playing. Uh, I'm playing uh, Richard's thing. Here. Oh no, we don't hear that. We don't hear that. Hey, it's still Richard Saunders. Look at her. Oh, <laughs> where's the accent? <laughs> I'm so maybe, maybe, maybe I, I should. Know, I just got them all the time. I should do one. You know, in in um, like Steve Irwin. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going to be doing them. Um, yeah, I think I would love to see you do one with like Steve. Uh, <clears throat> that would be hilarious. <laughs> Hi, Bill. That's Hello. not a spoon. I hey, I went to the grocery store today, and I yeah. ran into a not on purpose somebody I used to work with, and she had her niece with her, who's from Minnesota. And so we were talking, me and this co-worker, old co-worker and I, and the niece goes, wait a minute, where are you from, Susan? I said, Salinas. She goes, no, I mean, where were you raised and everything? And I said, Salinas. And she says, oh, come on. And she says, you have such an accent. And I said, <laughs> I like my Kyle head, the head tilts for that. <laughs> An accent. I said, yeah, I get that all the time. Uh, people think I'm, they ask where, where in the South am I from? And she says, no, I'm thinking Minnesota, Wisconsin, something up there. And Canada. I said, I said, I've never heard anybody tell me. I Minnesota always thought you were from something. Minnesota. I thought you were from Washington, actually. Washington, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, so I said there, no, I've no, no way. And so we were talking a little bit longer. She goes, well, my mistake, you know, I just, it just sounds so familiar to me. Like you're from Minnesota. And then she goes, ah, I know it is. You keep saying, yeah, yeah. Or yeah, or I don't even know what I say, whatever it is. Yeah. And it's, and she says, and then I realized I've been hearing, I've been spending a lot of time talking to Adrian 
Do I say yeah a lot? Is it yeah? What oh, does yeah. Joey say? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Whatever it is, I've picked yeah. it up. I, I, I picked it up boot. somehow. It yeah. happened yeah. like when we were in Canada for like a week. I started saying sorry. Yeah, sorry is no, sorry. Really? Yeah. Sorry is a bit Maybe you you're hearing the accent everywhere you go. Hi, Gail. Hello. Maybe you want Maybe I one of the things you have to watch out about. Isn't about you're feeling better. That's good. Good to hear. There's a specific way you have to say about, right? Is it about? I, I say about. 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 But everybody says it's a boot, and that's more Eastern Canada, specifically Newfoundland. Is what are you talking about? about Nova about, Scotia. About Nova Scotia. Yes. Who has we may have to pay you Canada. to ship us some Spolumbos, Adrian, because he keeps going into the stores looking for them, and I'm like, that's, we can't get that here. We have to. Oh, what is it? He wants? Wow. They're so good. Richard had some Spolumbos. <sighs> We got the candy. No, they're sausages, and we got their bangers, the banger flavored one, and cut them up and cooked it and put it in spaghetti. It was so good. That sounds good. Yeah, <laughs> they're they're made in Calgary. When we had the flood, what was it, two thousand fourteen? Their factory got flooded, and it devastated Alberta because all of Alberta loves our we love our spalumbos, and it's it's back now. It was six months without spalumbos. With because of that wow. flood, so that sounds just that was, horrible. <laughs> that was in 2013. Was it 2013? Thank you, Vincent. And oh, the exchange you rate it. is wonderful. Everything's going to be right. The exchange <laughs> rate is can't possibly. Yeah, that's right, Faith. You guys did well with the exchange rate. We did. I I like to look at my credit card bills. He was freaking <laughs> out because like dinner's like 250 dollars. That's Canadian. It's like 150 US. That's, that's almost right. free. <laughs> It's almost free. <laughs> I mean, it's almost for free. Yeah. He ate elk and I had um Albertan raised ostrich. Mm. It was Amazing. actually really tasty. Ostrich. I am not really going good. there if you're gonna feed me that. No. I'll feed you splumbos. You'll love it. Oh, they have Tim Hortons, which is wonderful. The like donuts Tim Hortons. amazing. You like had, donuts. That was the <laughs> only thing we declared when we crossed the border. <laughs> but Tim Hortons? Yeah, it was like he's like, do you have any fruits, vegetables? And he said, no, nope, we just have some Tim Hortons donuts over here, and you can't have them. <laughs> <laughs> and they warn you as you get up to the border to remind you to disperse of your cannabis before you go any closer mm -hmm. because there's nowhere to turn off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and I got high in a Canadian park, by the way. It was wonderful. <laughs> mm -hmm. Which one? Bob, you're not staying. Um, and right? Jasper, I bought the THC in yeah. Banff. Like that was what really surprised me is there was cannabis dispensaries in the middle of the national park. Legal so we bought it. And then I was, <laughs> and when we got up to our campsite and Jasper, I was like, we have to use this now. So like I texted one of my friends and <laughs> I was like, I have to tell you, I'm taking drugs <laughs> in a park in a national park on federal government land and it's totally legal and I do not want to go back home. <laughs> did you see we're getting a, <coughs> did you see any we're getting a Rocky Mountain high? Yeah. Did you see any, did you see any stoned moose? No, we the only time we got to see moose was in Montana on um <coughs> in Lake Glacier and there was a mother and her baby um on the shore eating. Yeah. And mm -hmm. We did get to see a group of deer that were grazing and eating while hey, we were having our Spolumbo dinner <laughs> at our campsite, but we didn't get to see any bears, unfortunately. We weren't up at the right time. Here's the okay. culprit. Who, who ate the power balance? Well, up to you guys. Room two. I can see the strength in her, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Kevin. I'm just trying to pick where I'm putting you. Yeah, did, you've tried to put me in a room. I'm not going in a room. Well, it you just have to deny it because it won't let you not. I, I did. Well, how rude. I, Zoom's not going to right now. Yeah, it won't let me not put you in a room. Oh, yeah, because yeah, of the, the random thing. Okay, I see. Yeah. Yeah, it forces That's everything. That's right. And, and then you have to adjust. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I got to find right. where I'm putting Kevin. I'm sorry. I didn't even mean to be testy. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. That's fine. I got Carolyn, you're in room me. five. Did you see it, Carolyn? There she goes. I guess she did. Okay, Kevin. Okay, so they can only stay uh, until break. Um, like 
Would you? Oh, I wouldn't want her job. What this job? <laughs> I'm gonna put you. I'll put you. Uh, I'll. This one's one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm gonna do that because I think that she's leaving early, so that'll make sense. Oh my goodness. Okay. On them and send me a. Hello, everybody. Hey. Yeah. Um. Unpause. So, any Selena's people around here? Karen. Karen. She's driving still. Oops, I got the volume turned down. No wonder. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So Mark is over at the Selena's Active Adult Center. Do you know anything about that place? Repeat. Swimmers. Active adults, senior active adults. He's been teaching a magic class there. I, I do. I do not. What is the address? Oh, it's over on Pajaro. No, I, I don't okay. know it. Nobody knows. I'm an people. unactive adult, apparently. You're not a senior. Hi, Brandy. Well, we I think I qualify as a senior now. You could actually Second go over there. I know you could. But there's nobody in this room who knows anybody at that active senior place, right? Uh, right. Mark. Yeah. <laughs> well, so they didn't give him the key to lock up the, the building because there was always a group that came in after him. Well, right. the group that comes in after him did not show up and they were supposed to be there by six. And oh, so dear. he's like, I gotta, I gotta leave and I can't lock up the building. And the woman, he's been trying to call the woman who is his contact mm. and she's not answering the phone. So he's like, what do I do? <clears throat> so I said, I mm. looked for another phone number and I couldn't find anything. So I said, he, he waits. I said, you could sleep there. Well, the, the yeah. office, the main office is locked. So the only thing that's open right now is like a kitchen area and a, like a, a big room. So there's not much people could still, they could thrash it, but. He won't starve. Yeah, he won't starve. I said, well, nope. How likely is it somebody's going to come up and check the door to see if it's open? And they can't get into the office. I would say the light. find one door that will lock on your way out somewhere. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Well, he can't get the into. Um, likelihood is 100%. <laughs> um. I told him to hang around a little bit longer and keep trying that's to get the, hold of the woman. That, that would be my advice because it's a lot easier to just waste half an hour waiting or something than to walk away and have something happen and then have to deal with it. Yeah. Well, I got stuck at work like that. I walked out the door and shut behind me and they had locked me in between the building and a seven foot tall fence with barbed wire. And I had to climb over to get out. I was going to be stuck there all weekend. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I, did, I did it. I got up on the fire escape, threw my jacket on the barbed wire. Oh, my God. Over, get it. Climbed over, ripped my shirt, pulled up pretty good. But I got too home. Bad. Too bad nobody was filming. <laughs> yeah, was, uh, this was when I was in my 20s. So. Oh, shush. Okay. I, I was pitching you now doing it. So, so uh, about yeah. three or four weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> About, what, um, about Mark's dilemma. Uh, yeah. So I know one person who is the newsletter writer at that place and another person I don't know, but I have a phone number for her. her she's a special events and activities person. What's Sweet. her first name? Because it might Loretta? be- Loretta? Loretta, I think that's who he has. Okay. The other person is George Neeson who writes the newsletter. I don't know anybody else. They must be of a certain political party. <laughs> Let me see if Mark has or maybe they're not political. But that's but that's kind of above and beyond. Uh I mean, you know, it's really not his responsibility. No, but he might have a contact number of somebody else who would yeah. have the number because Mark doesn't even have the key. There's a keypad number. He, he's a magician. He doesn't <laughs> need a key. Yeah. He, he can <laughs> lock it and just evaporate <laughs> through the wall. Oh, he he all he has to do is find a piece of metal and bend it around the door handles with his mind. <laughs> oh, From the outside while it's on the inside. Perfect. Karen, exactly. Send me, that, send me that number. Text me that number and I'll send it to him. But I think Loretta is the name of the woman he has the um, 
is his contact. He's already tried that one. Hey, yeah, he's I called can't... her and texted her. Susan, I can't do anything on my phone except tap to speak. But George writes the newsletter and he lives just a couple blocks away. He lives on Willow Street and this place is on Harvest. So it's like two blocks away. So just open I the don't door know if it's worth it. But you could probably call the police or fire department. And they have access to the to the building with the Knox ball, uh, lock there. Mm -hmm. They open it up in case of a fire, and it locks the door. A I was telling him that maybe he would have to call happen. a non-emergency. Okay. Do you want George's number? He lives like two blocks away from the place. Yeah. We're, he's we're, he's we're, on we're, their we're, we're recording. Don't I say thought. much more difficult. Yeah. Uh, exactly. Yeah, it's it's much easier not to give a shit. He can always <laughs> go to the roof and fly. You know, I didn't tell him about the magician thing you guys said. That's funny. He might I be in a just, bad mood. I was in wait, my, wait till later. <laughs> I was at my church once and everybody left and I didn't have a key. And so I didn't want to leave it unlocked, but I figured out a way. I went through this this one door. You didn't throw the deadbolt. It was just a regular latch. And I used a piece of plastic or something and got out. And then when I pulled the plastic out and the, the latch through. I was pretty proud of myself. So there might Locked be something myself. like that, but I've never so been you broke to this out. place. So you broke yeah, out of church. Out. Good for you. <laughs> yeah. but, but well, if, if you exactly. want to lock up a church, you just pray hard. <laughs> <laughs> pray harder. You know, you were talking about talking to the dead. I talked to a dead Jew for 60 years. <laughs> <laughs> An imaginary dead Jew. Awesome. All right. Or let's mythical do let's do our categories. I, we don't want to be here for the rest of the really night. Good. Let's do the, the names of our yeah, let's do the names. All right. So oh, we have tonight we have five teams. Oh, here comes Deborah. Let me let her in. The chat box was the chat box was covering up the participant box. So let's let her get in. What game number is this, Susan? This is game 170. Can you believe it? Oh. So is anybody not on a team besides Deborah? I'm not on a team. And Brandy. Brandy and Deborah. So I need I could put you on a team right now. And so you know, Vincent is very, very tired. So yeah. We're gonna lose Vincent and we're gonna lose Troy. Troy and we're gonna lose Carolyn. So I have Vincent on one team, I have Where's Carolyn Vincent? on another team, and I have Troy. Oh, hi Vincent. So there is. let's put Deborah over. Let's put Brandy. Vincent is high above the earth. Vincent yes. and I went to the dinosaur museum. Isn't that, that cool? It was pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. I'll put Deborah over here. World class magazine in a small town. <laughs> All right. Now that I have you guys on those two teams. Okay. So here's the here's the thing. Game, game number 170, team number one, it's Jane from Oregon, Kyle with the shoes, <laughs> Leonard and Rob. <laughs> What's your team name? Rob, you got it? I do have it. I have to go back in the chat. Oh, it's a big yawn, Vincent. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Team one is, if Cannon goes off the deep end, Joyzy is the last resort. Except they spelled <coughs> Joyzy wrong there. Spell Joyzy this way. Is she going to do a cannonball then? <laughs> I need to see it in the chat because I didn't hear what you said. I didn't oh, it went to Brandy. Okay, good. I typed the wrong one in. So give me a give me a sec. Let's see where is it. I couldn't quite understand um, your accent there. <laughs> something somebody something happens is joyzy. It's joyzy. Yeah. So we, we changed it and I don't joyzy. have what it was changed to. Okay, what was it changed to? Oh, it, it's uh, complicated. We're not for, building I know, a rocket I got ship. It. it was forget Florida. <laughs> I don't think we can award you any points for this round. Forget Florida. Uh, what was the rest of it, Leonard? Or Jane? Somehow we didn't write that down. I didn't write that down. Joyzy, something like Joyzy's the backup or something. That's it. Joyzy is the backup plan. Let's do that. There you go. Forget Florida. Joyzy is the backup plan. I don't get it. What is? What are you talking about? The Bedminster, Mar-a-Lago. Bedminster. Oh, 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 thank a you, few thank hours you Deborah. Yeah, you're right. I yeah. just don't call it Joyzy. 
Okay. Well, that's because you you were you didn't live nearby. Okay, I got I got a, I got a few. Wait, just a second. Bunny. Mark keeps trying to get out. He's starting to panic. Adrian, he just called and then hung up. Adrian, Alan, Karen, Vincent, Brandy. Oh, so with before Brandy, <clears throat> she can be an honorary Canadian. We we're all th all three Canadians plus Karen, who has been mistaken for a Canadian. So we decided that we our team name was going to be very Canadian, and it is Jesus Murphy. Sorry about drinking the Skookum Screech while we were wearing toques, eh? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny too because I wrote down Jesus Murphy. I'm going to try to in incorporate that into my um, my non nomenclature. I thought some people in Canada spoke English. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Murphy. Sorry well, about the only the ones Mokum. in Quebec. Snooker Only the ones in Quebec, yeah, probably. <laughs> so, so the screech, if I remember right, was the rum and coke. It's just rum. It's a rum, rum that's actually and bottled coke. and distilled in Newfoundland. It yep. comes rum comes from Jamaica. <clears throat> not so, bad you have, so do you have Brandy to say screech, right screech and that. coke sure if you want to love combo? some screech? If, yeah, you, you just you could ask for screech and it comes on the rocks it, with an iceberg. Uh, ice I'm from yeah, ice I'm from a whole iceberg. With an ice, well, a small iceberg, iceberg segment, piece. yeah, chunk. yeah, a chunk, oh, <laughs> or a chunk of an iceberg, or a uh, screech and coke, and and I'm not kidding. The guy when I said I'll have a rum and coke, and he just said, "You mean screech?" Like it took him a minute to actually even <laughs> register what I was asking. Now he knows better. Yeah, but see, so that confused me because I, I didn't. I thought that was uh, screech meant rum and coke. So you're saying no, it would just have been the rum. Just so the rum. then, how so do you, you would get have a rum and coke? Screech and coke. You say screech, screech and coke. coke. Yeah. So why didn't he That's say, it. do you mean screech and coke instead of screech? I think he was just shortening. Who knows? But he did. He just said, you mean screech. And I went, okay. And he understood the coke part. Yeah, he understood the coke part. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe he you thought you want the drugs. Kind of I don't know what you people do in Canada. I and, then you I... got, and then you got uh, some rum and white powder. Yeah. yeah, that's how I'd be. Wow. Worried. You might have gone to the White House there. But I asked for the down. diet version. So that'd be interesting to see what kind of white powder you get for that. Then you probably paid with those crappy Canadian pesos or whatever you have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go up to Canada. Loonies and Toonies. Exactly. Loonies and Toonies. Everybody to Canada. Let's go. Okay. So Faith Romero, Peggy, Saunders, and Ron. Que se joda Texas. What? Texas. It means Hola, intercourse, Texas. Texas. I don't know those words. Oh. I learned how to speak in There's Mexican Islam. I put it in translate. It said it was Latvian for iodine. <laughs> <laughs> you have to say it in Spanish, Susan. Okay. <clears throat> okay, say, hold that, Tejas. There, there's an intercourse pencil. I just don't love yep. I don't know any bad It's just south of the tits, by the way. <laughs> the tits now. Sorry. It, it, now. Really, it really now. is. Jane from California, Troy and Deborah. Okay, oh you're going to have to sing this one. That's good. Just trying to I like that, that one. Every dun, single dun, time dun, she dun, does it. I dun, like that dun, dun, one. Dun, dun. Oh, my God, after the Tejas. Okay. <laughs> Carolyn, I Cindy, translate Jamie, Carl, Kevin, what from you Spanish, from And it, it got what Faith said. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> North Korea names North US Korea, soldier. North Korea names US soldier for its first experimental manned space flight. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my god. On the same base as my son. So I'm gonna have to ask really? him if he knows. Well, yeah, there's 29,000 uh -huh. guys there though. Wow. Well. Very strange occurrence for sure. That was it. I just read they they told like a story that they captured him, they took him because he stepped into the thing, and then the next story was something else, and then that they thought he was a tourist, 
And then people are like, is he joining you like as a tourist? And then I just read today he was he was like in trouble. So he he's defected. Yeah, yeah he, he made defected. that. He made the, the border. Rather than come and face whatever he was charged with. Well, he well, was gonna, really yeah, they were gonna kick him out of the military. That's what happened. Yeah. He, uh, yeah, he they was were gonna, yeah, they were gonna ship him back to the United States and do a court martial, I think. Yeah. Well, exactly. now what's gonna happen to him in North freaking Korea? What an idiot. He's gonna go. <laughs> Good luck. There's gonna be well, he's that, gonna be in this man's spaceship flight, yeah. or he's gonna be falling out of a window somewhere. One uh, of the last major U.S. Yeah. defectors became a famous North Korean movie star. Really? Or he could become a movie <laughs> star. Yeah, he always plays the bad guy. He's the white bad guy in all the movies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I, yeah. I think I heard of that. Was that on NPR, Amer This American Life, or something? Might have been. I saw it on some documentary. Oh, man, that's funny. Well, he's probably doing okay. All right, so we have our teams for tonight. Oh, God, I got to say them. Forget Florida, Joyzy is the backup plan versus Jesus Murphy. Sorry about drinking the snookum screech while we were wearing toques, eh? <laughs> I didn't do very good with Canadian. Que se joda. Que se joda, Tejas. Versus Dun 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 versus North Korea names U.S. soldier for his first experimental manned space flight. Oh God, these are going to be killer. <laughs> could have been worse. It could have been a manned nuclear test flight. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I, you know, this thing with this uh, um, Russians. Don't they have a body count thing of people who? How many Russians have fallen out of plane, uh, windows lately? Oh, yeah. oh I saw. Oh. They they had another they had a woman this time she happened to fall out of her high rise window. Was she and remotely she, important? She was I think a newscaster or something. Oh uh, yeah, that that's probably what it was. That is consistent. God, isn't hmm. that awful? Or something in the yeah I think something in news or I don't know something like that. Okay, it's, so it's never plumbers that fall out of windows. <laughs> or, or even window washers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. So we've got uh, today is uh, July twentieth, twenty twenty three. Game one hundred and seventy, season four. We got a lot of stuff to cover. My gosh! So we have five people who are going to be running our game tonight for us. Thank you so much. I'm looking for people for the next week. I'll start early, uh, so letting you know. So we're going to start off with Robert. Robert Palmer, who has his category is going to be something that has to do with black and white, right? Yeah, that's it. Black and white. Black and white. Obviously, that's what it's going to be. And then Obviously. followed up by Adrian Hill, who's now a cartoon character, um, a sketchy and white. cartoon character, who was writing her category up until the last minute today. <laughs> so you know it's going to be great. Followed by Peggy, who was on the screen a minute ago, and now she has moved. Oh, there she is. And her category is going to be obviously lighthouses or clouds, one of the two, followed by Gail, who's going to be doing a category on, there she is, postage stamps or presidents or or like those little things that you wear, the cameos, something like that, or people in blue. So that's Gail. Um, she just happens to have that. Now that she knows how to use this background thing, she's, she's like into it. It's pretty cute. Followed by a bonus category. Oh, my cats are going to fight at it. Um, is going to be something to do with red and white for Carl. Vince, candy mints. Something to do with candy? No, Peggy, are, you, are you doing a lighthouse? Because I think I've been to that one. I put that up last week because you mentioned Peggy's Pe Cove. Peggy's Cove, yeah. That's Peggy's Cove. Peggy's Cove. Yep, so I've been there. I own it. <laughs> Tell everybody to Peggy no, Cove. Nova, Sco Nova Scotia. Oh, yep. is it Nova Scotia? I don't Nova think Scotia. I it very quickly. It's beautiful. They had a real bad plane crash there, though, a few years ago. It was in the news. Oh, thanks for bringing us yeah, down. Yeah, some plane crashed, and a lot of people died right up the shore. Well, tomorrow, well, tomorrow, Janice Boynton, who's in Maine, which is kind of close to Nova Scotia, and Adrian Hill and I are going to be doing a facilitated communication video. So. Um, Lee's not here right at the moment. He'll be back after he has a good talk with the llamas. He's having a meeting with the llamas right now. And we're losing Bob. Do we lose Bob? I think we already lost Bob. Okay, I'm ready. 
How about you guys? You guys all ready? Let's see what we have in store. Um, We're going to start with the black and white category. (laughs) Which would be. uh, So, as amazingly has not been mentioned, today is a very important day. Oh. And indictment indictment lock him up no lock today him. is the 54th anniversary of the first manned landing on the moon and i won't say crew that's right they were all men everyone knows it was july 20th 1969 right everyone 54 years ago when human beings first landed on the moon but let's see what else you know about apollo 11 Ooh, is it the category called apollo 11 yep all righty apollo 11 oh, I on see. the anniversary God, i've got too many Things are hiding. All right. Who, who's got the mutation powers? I didn't hear you give it to anybody. I gave it to you. You want me to mute everybody? Oh, I okay. can't say who's got those powers. Oh, that power. Who hasn't okay. had to do that role? Here we go. I did it. Let's go. Okay. Okay. So, number one, everyone knows the date, but what was the time of the first? touchdown of humans on the moon and give it to me in uh, central time because that's Houston time that they were tracking and I'm going to give you plus or minus two hours I can picture it because I remember it pretty well we were going on a trip and I knew where we were Uh, so number two Information available during the landing indicated that the lunar module had enough fuel for this amount of time of powered flight before an abort would have been necessary. But post-mission analysis actually showed the real figure was probably closer to double that. So give me the time plus or minus 25%. Number three. Apollo 11 astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first two humans to set foot upon the moon. But who was their crewmate who did not get to walk on the moon on this mission? And I met him, by the way, at a conference, which was kind of amazing. Uh, So number four, did the answer to the previous question get another mission where he did walk on the moon? 50-50 shot at that. Number five, one of the three Apollo 11 crew members, uh, of the three Apollo 11 crew members, which one was a contestant on Dancing with the Stars? Oh, we're supposed to know that acronym? No, I I, I gave it to you. I said it, I said it, Dancing with the Stars. (laughs) Number six, which of the Apollo 11 astronauts performed a secret communion service that's uh, the Catholic Roman Catholic communion service while on the moon? Number seven. How many pounds of lunar material did Apollo 11 collect? Plus or minus 10%. Because I'm generous. Number eight. How old was Armstrong when he set foot upon the moon? And uh, give me that number in years, plus or minus two. Number nine, including Apollo 11, how many successful manned lunar missions were there? Lunar landings, sorry, not missions. Lunar landings. So how many successfully landed on the moon? How many vehicles? And finally, number 10, the only one that's not directly about Apollo 11, name any of the three astronauts on the next mission, Apollo 12. That's it. Any questions? I tried not to leave any room for ambiguity there. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Go to your rooms. Go to your moons. Go to your your moons. moons. I guess I'm doing that. Breakout rooms, open all rooms. There you go. Yeah, we put these people in the rooms that didn't get on yet. Okay, so Brandy, you are on two. Jesus Murphy. Deborah, you are on dun, 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 four. Karen, thank you so much for that phone number. You always come to to our our you're always such a big help. Jesus Murphy. Well, I hope it helps. Okay. Well, 
See ya. Bye. Oh, you guys are have no problem. I'm just going to sit down and just relax while you So I, I remember this happened um, in the early afternoon California time. So it's probably something like 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. I'll go along with that. Can't remember. So yeah, let's go with that. It was yeah. dark. I don't know. Well, it was dark when they walked out. It was dark there. Well, it wasn't actually. It was in daylight. That was um, daylight in the moon? Yeah. Um, so See, I was to... going to guess I was going to guess two or four. So I think three is a good... Hey. I, yeah. I, was, I think three is a good yes yeah, p.m yes yeah um because i remember watching it on tv yeah. and you know we we as a family we went to my uncle's house and we were watching it it feels like it was in the afternoon and we were right. in nashville which was central time right yeah my parents went out to dinner to celebrate or no, they didn't give a shit. They missed what it. day of the week was it? I don't remember. Um, they went out to dinner. They complained about the horrible service in the in the restaurant, <laughs> and I said, "Good." Okay, number two. Your parents um, didn't care that somebody was walking on the moon. Yeah, they they didn't care. <laughs> um, it was like a minute or something tiny. <clears throat> Today it'd be a pay-per-view event. Right. <laughs> I remember hearing something about the fuel being like they brought really just low. enough. Yeah. 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 So I, I'm really not sure what the right answer is for two. Um, number three is Michael Collins. Right. Oh yeah, Michael Collins. And I do not believe he walked on the moon. Oh, I was gonna say I thought he did, but you know, I defer to you on all of these. Yeah, things. I really, I really, I, I I, I'm not sure. I, I really don't know any of these. So I just sort of thought that he did, but I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, 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 I think he did not. Okay. Um, of the th oh, um, I think it was Buzz. I was gonna say was, Buzz, yeah, yeah. I, was on I can't believe any of them did that. That's yeah, no, that's Buzz is pathetic, a, isn't Buzz it? Buzz is a ham, he's also there, he's very fit, right? I mean, even late in life, oh, they all are, cool. yeah. And I believe he's also the answer to number six. But I'm not oh, yeah? not sure. Yeah, I'm really not well, you sure. You only have three choices, so. Yeah. And I do not remember how many pounds. Hmm. Yeah. You know, this is interesting for number six. He didn't say on the moon. He said at the moon, which makes me wonder if it's Collins. Oh, that's yeah, true. If it was on the moon, it would only be the two. Yeah, so let's say Collins. That's why he couldn't go out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you can't go. Uh, number seven, yeah, I really don't know. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be like 50 pounds. It would be more like six pounds or something, right? Yeah, I think it was. it was not huge. How old was Armstrong? 40? That old? Somewhere around there. I can't believe I just said that old to 40. <laughs> 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 oh my God, what am I doing? 40's old? What is 60? Oh, must be. I must be like. 60 is young, Susan. Trust I me. No, especially, that. but not if 40's old. <laughs> But for an astronaut, I would think they, I guess that does make sense. It's, they've got to be like a flight. Um, yeah, they're already experienced test pilots. Yeah, they have to 
they have to have been and they can't be like in their 50s where there's right. a you know i don't know some other issue maybe so maybe yeah so they're in their so they're in their 39 80s now late 30s i would think that yeah well, that's an interesting way of doing it yeah can we it's 54 years 54 yeah it could be 94 i suppose both because they're all alive right well no. somebody was on dancing with the stars yeah no buzz uh buzzes around but same with arms um neil's neil's dead oh so maybe yeah so num number nine is six And then who were uh, the three, name any of the three on Apollo 12? Alan Bean. B-E-A-N? B-E-A-N. And then what do we want to do for seven? The weight, was it six pounds? Uh, you're I, guessing? I just yeah, I, I really don't know. It's a nice... That's a number. Yeah, because it's got to be probably under 10. Mm -hmm. And six is kind of... It's a number. Definitely numeric. I think, let's say Armstrong was 38. I like that number. Yeah, mm -hmm. I lean younger there just because he's still alive and, I and was on. Him. Oh. Mm -hmm. Armstrong. So um, Armstrong is not still alive. Buzz is. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I got you. Okay, 38 either way. So, yeah. yeah. So 54. How long is, how think, long ago did Armstrong think 40? Die? Fairly recently. Yeah, so we're, we're guessing 38 for number eight. Cool. Okay. And then two, uh, we need a, a guess. A week. <laughs> we, we know that's wrong. Yeah. Our flight. I mean, it's got to be in minutes, right? Yeah, it may it may be seconds. Seconds well, would be really closer tight, to but... double that. So I don't think it'd be seconds. Like, oh, it was it was really close. Because why would you bring extra fuel? Yeah. And so, how would you abort if you're? Coming they launched. They, like they launched. They they fire the uh, ascent engine. They fire the engine that was supposed to lift them off the moon, and they drop the the bottom half and take off. What about thirty seconds? Sure, I wow. really don't know. That's amazing. Okay, wait. I'm not quite understanding. Oh, good. Here comes Caspian and Jamie. I'm not quite understanding what you mean by so the the rocket that slowed them down that allowed them to land is not the same rocket as the one that lifts them off the moon so they essentially depleted the the moon landing rocket and if they had not landed by the time that was um not going to allow them to land safely they would fire the moon launching rocket and that would take them off the, off the surface or off the near surface Otherwise, they'd crash into the moon. Right? Otherwise, they'd crash into the moon, which would be bad. 30 seconds? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm confident it was less than that. Hmm. But, I, but I really have no idea what. Okay, so where's Rob? He's in room two. And he, he he doesn't like us because he hasn't visited. Yeah, hasn't been through. Well, because he knows that we're recording. So we should talk about him. So what do you want to say about Rob? What about some stories? Because he's know. watching this right now. I, I don't know him that well. How could you say you don't know him that well? We all know I him don't. that well. Nah, not, not that well. Did you know that he keeps fish in his house? The I eater didn't. for pets. Yes. <laughs> Maybe both. 
He kisses, he kisses Cod. That's it. Oh, I know he lives in Joycey. And he also has alligators. And he, he has, he keeps the fish for his cats. And he takes them out and he goes like this to the cats with his fish. And I, I'm I'm not sure I should believe this, Susan. I'm, I'm also, skeptical. Also, you know what else he does? He wears a cape. That fits. I've never seen Rob wearing a cape. Have we'll you ever have seen to behind check. him. Have you ever seen behind him? I, I think have. it's more of a line dancing thing. I have stood behind him. Uh, but we'll we'll check it at Psycon. Everyone's going to be at Psycon, right? If ever there was a time to wear a cape, it'd be then. <laughs> I think you're right. And his name. So is all, a... all four of us are planning to be at Psycon, right? Yeah, yeah. I'll and be there. His, and his real name right, is his name is Robert Palmer, and he really does dance like Robert Palmer. And in that a, video, in that one child, video. he's actually and he his sings child. like Robert he's Robert Palmer. Palmer Jr. He's really his child. <laughs> <laughs> And the song "Addicted to Addicted yeah. to Love. with the women, yeah, the models yeah. might as well face it. Yeah, <laughs> I think I think that he inspired that song. Maybe that is actually him in the. I video. think he's in the Wait. cape. I think he's in the cape in the back. If you look, there's a car. I think, and I I don't know the song that well. Sorry. The, the the isn't it the yeah there's like the these, models and they're wearing women the, like and bright red yeah lipstick. yeah. It's a very famous music video. The one on the the one on the left is Rob. <laughs> Our Rob. <laughs> uh-huh. But he's very well known, so. <clears throat> so we're telling stories. You guys got to tell stories. Kyle, come up with a story of, of Rob. Yeah, I have to work on that. I'm waiting. <laughs> I came up with like Sorry. five. <laughs> a tall tale Jane you got one mm -hmm. I'll, I'll after to... all the time that you spent with Rob yeah I'll, I'll have to think about which one I want to tell on, the, on this recording you know he was actually an extra on um, on the uh, Lord of the Rings he was one of the hobbits <laughs> he was the chief actually the only thing you could see is his hairy feet <laughs> they showed feet. Sure. Those were rods. Is that how he got the part? Yeah, Is that how he so, got chosen? Yeah, yeah, I think they had, and they didn't fly him to New Zealand. He stayed at he stayed at um, in Joycey. He and stayed in Joycey, and they filmed his feet. They put him out on the lawn, mm -hmm. and they put like grass around it because because they didn't do CGI feet. They just put him out on the lawn, and then they just used cameras to to follow his feet i read about that so they only cho they chose people who actually had feet yeah. like that <laughs> and from having to they didn't have to use makeup artists or anything it was much make, easier cheaper right. to do it that way just put feet right real you know he's been in line for the barbie movie for 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 about a week now. <laughs> yeah. so he's, he's been standing in line. It just makes it really hard for him to line dance. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's a giant Barbie fan. Yeah. Well, he can go see that while I go see Oppenheimer. Yeah, I'm going to Oppenheimer on Sunday. And I, I was thinking about the fact that the theater is going to be filled with a lot of people who are secretly wishing that they were over in Barbie. But... <laughs> Or actually in Oppenheimer instead. Well, I I haven't read the reviews for Barbie, but I have watched some of the trailers and seen a little bit before. I have a feeling it's actually a lot more interesting than you think. I know well, I think it, it has to be. Fantastic. <laughs> I, it, it has Barbie? to be a lot more interesting than it that I think. Oh, I think it's gonna be fantastic. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to but... seeing Barbie. I am too. So Although I don't have any do it at the same time. That. I, I don't have any plans to see Barbie yet, but uh, I think it's going to be funny when I eventually see it one way or the other. So will you be able to pick out Rob from from the background, you think? Well, uh, I don't I, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know, you know, if he will be in one of those foot scenes, you know, one of those Barbie foot scenes. Yeah, I think he does can, to be honest, <laughs> this time. 
He's normally uh, Kyle. Did you come I up did pick. I, I did pick Richard Saunders out in um, Thor: Love and Thunder. There you go. Oh, did the uh, announcement we all saw that the yeah. communion was not Catholic impact anyone's choice? Uh, not not mine. My well, choices, yeah. unless it was Rob who was actually there. What? Well, I mean, unless someone was confident that Michael Collins was Catholic and we need to switch to whichever the one was the Protestant one or something like that. But well, Collins is a Catholic, famous Catholic, you know, Michael Collins is a Catholic name. You know, is he like a saint or something? St. Collins? Well, Collins is a, isn't that kind of a Catholic? Who knows? Of, I don't know. Well, now that I reread well, it as a they're secret. all Goyim. Secret. <laughs> yeah. It could be any of them. I you know, I just threw that out because of the way the question was worded. It yeah. could be any of them. So that that is a uh, all right. That's a good hint, and it, it may be in there just to screw us up. Good job, everybody. Oh, good of you all to join us. Okay, that was interesting. We didn't see you. Oh, you were in a you're in, in another team, Susan, are you? Yeah, I'm on team one. Ah, uh, I get to float. Hello, Caspian. Hi, Jamie. Mm. I, so, so did I sink my team, Susan? I don't see them. Oh, there they are. There they are. Hi, you guys. Rob, you didn't go around to to visit other uh, uh, to visit yeah. us at least. You did you? Oh, I, I could see that when I watched the you know the recording. Oh, you'll see YouTube. that, Rob. You'll see that. Hey, Karen. Yeah. Yeah, so so that's the one team I might I see you soon. Go to. You did you you want to see everybody else because you knew you were going to see enough of us. Yes. Okay, so here we go. I'll give you the answers and I'll put them all into the chat afterwards. <laughs> so uh, the time of touchdown was uh, a lot of people were off track on this because they were remembering when they were watching it, but they, <laughs> what they were watching was the walk, and the walk happened six hours and thirty nine minutes after Ooh. touchdown. Yeah. So the walk. Uh, happened at 1056 my time east coast i'm amazed my parents we were on a trip to visit my uncle and, I'm, and i kept begging no we can't leave now they're going to come out any minute and they dragged on and on and on and i do do remember seeing it so they stayed late enough for me to at least see the first step i don't think we watched the entire moonwalk so that was 956 which was the walk central time and it was that makes the uh the landing 31740 hey a.m or p.m PM. Wait, 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 wait. Three seventeen. Three seventeen PM oh. Central Time. Sorry, that... Karen. I guess you were you you were on. But was that a, a well like any on. amount of time one way or the other? Yes. Yeah, two, two hours. I gave you two, two hours. hours. Okay. So All we right. chose a time that would cover both Alan's <clears throat> guests and Karen's guests. So so, so well. we were thinking. So Leonard and James said they saw it. And they said, so when you guys saw it, you saw the touchdown, not the walk. Both. Oh. No, we, we got it right. We said said 3 p.m. Yeah. Oh, very good. Very good. I would have not remembered yeah. that, that it was that Thank long God they sure. went for a touchdown and didn't settle for a field goal. Uh, <laughs> well, okay. So so that's almost, that's the answer to the next question, right? They almost had a board. And I saw some people putting like things like 40 minutes. No, they had 25 seconds of fuel, they thought. Whoa. 25 seconds Whoa. so with my margin well, that's 20 to 30 if you said you're right yay so rob i have a question um how long did it take to get up and down from the surface different quest different answers to both of those things so yeah i would uh, think so but you know yeah gravity yeah. and all like roughly i mean i just want to uh, idea like is it hours the is it is no it no no it would have been maybe 10 minutes, something like that from the deorbit from recollection, something in that range. I mean, okay. basically they were flying over once they had reached a reasonable attitude to see altitude to see close up what they were going to be landing into. The problem was, which is why they almost ran out of fuel, because the automatic system was putting them into an area which would have been very dangerous, giant boulders and craters. And, and Armstrong <laughs> oh took control and flew it manually for quite a long time as the fuel was going down and down and down. And then he sat down just in time. 
Mm. It's most oh, okay. of it. I mean, I've driven a car where the gasoline is looking really, really close <laughs> and you're staring at it. And no matter how much you know you can make it, you're just like, oh shit. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Is there a gas station? Am I going to make it? And the here's, whole, yeah, can you imagine what they were them. thinking as they were yeah. watching that go? Do I push the abort button? And, you know, oh. Uh, all right, question three. Uh, Apollo 11 astronauts Neil Armstrong, but it's only the first two. A woman who did not do the walk that time, that was Michael Collins. As I, met him, I got to meet him at a uh, at a conference. Which was a <coughs> very tall guy. That's all I remember. Um, really? And uh, you think the, pick a small? Yeah, most astronauts guy. were fairly were. So, number four. <laughs> um, uh, no, Michael Collins never flew in space again. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, that was it. Um, da -dum -dum -dum. <laughs> so of the Apollo 11 crew members, which one was a contestant on Dancing with the Stars? It was Buzz Aldrin. He led Yay. with his right hook. Mr. Mr. Lightyear. He was the second contestant eliminated in 2010, season 10 of the uh, series. He was 80 years old, not 88, as I heard some people guessing. <laughs> but he said, I'm very proud to have had the opportunity to inspire a number of us who are trying to keep active. As he, as he left the show. <laughs> Number six, which <clears throat> of the Apollo 11 astronauts performed a <laughs> secret communion service while at the moon? That was also Buzz Aldrin. Yes, I did put the same right, person. Team. Uh, well, there's only three choices. <laughs> so why was it a secret? Well, at the time, NASA was fighting a lawsuit brought by Madeline Murray O'Hare, who had mm -hmm. objected to the Apollo 8 crew reading from the book of Genesis. And, and the lawsuit demanded that the astronauts refrain from broadcasting religious activities in space. So Aldrin was an elder at his church and he had a chalice used. Oh, and he could perform the service in secret. Did it mention it? It was never anything revealed over the radio. And his church still has the chalice used on the moon and it commemorates the event every year on the Sunday closest to July 20th. Mm -hmm. So how many pounds of lunar material did Apollo 11 collect? I heard people all over the ballpark here. 47 and a half pounds. Wow. Really that much? Plus or minus 10% gives you 42.75 to 52.25. Wow, we said six. Oh. <laughs> uh, how old was Armstrong? I heard a lot of people getting this right. He was 39 years old. <gasps> we said 38. Yay. Plus or minus two? He you said 39 and a half. Yeah, yeah. It, actually, Six his birth days. his birthday was let's see three week three weeks after, so he was almost forty. Uh, oh. How many successful manned lunar landings were there in total? And everybody should have got this because we did this in a previous round. There were six. Oh, like we would remember. Somebody eleven, did. twelve, thirteen was aborted, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. And finally, I'm really curious how many people got this one because nobody knows the other missions. Uh, name any of the three astronauts of the next mission, Apollo 12, Pete Conrad, Richard Gordon, or Alan Bean. We got Alan Bean. Did anybody get that? Yes. We got we got Alan Alan Come on. We had Bill. Rob. Bill knew this stuff. I'm surprised. We talked ourselves out of it, but yeah. Oh. We put Buzz We, we Bean Bean. Okay, so that's question it. on seven was that in a uh, moon pounds or earth pounds? <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Good job. That's what I was wondering. Good job. Okay, put the answers in so that I can. Um, I will get that last one at least copied. Really good round. Wow. I feel like I know something now. I hope I did. Of course, all something. this. A valuable information that you've just put in my brain is going to be pushed out by the next category. Is um, if, Buzz Aldrin, if Buzz Aldrin had been Muslim and he had to face east, how would he do that? Would he have to keep moving as the sun, as the, as well, the, so, no, so the earth have, because all you got to do yeah. is look towards Mecca. That's there have right. been, there have been Muslims who flew in the international space station and the shuttle. And that has been, you know, a challenge mm -hmm. and they actually made software to figure out which direction to face. <laughs> okay so hold on let me let me look out the window yeah, you don't you know, some, some, sometimes you're looking Mecca. through the earth yeah. Mm. yeah okay score is susan oh we got an eight is susan susan is muted what happened oh oh yeah did she leave susan she might have left maybe susan? Susan. yeah maybe, maybe. 
Yeah. She's gone to find uh, Mark. And she's what? trying to fr free him. She's on the moon. Free Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Is Mark being detained somewhere? Yeah, he got arrested. No. <laughs> he, did a, he did a gig at a place and the next group didn't show up and he's unable to lock up the building and he doesn't want to leave without oh, that and being he needs taken Susan care of. to come and uh, pick ago. up all the loot that he's <laughs> taking from the place. That's, <laughs> well, many years ago, I had then. his opposite problem. We showed up late to a meeting, a dog club meeting, and they let us use the basement in a bank in the evening. <laughs> and we they would yeah. prop that they had a key they open it and then they prop it open so that people could come late and they just so they just put something in and we could go downstairs we didn't have access to the main bank but we had okay which, Prices averted. and in. what happened at the end gail are we you still there, there gail we got there late someone had pushed out the butt with the thing that held it open and they had the key on the inside uh -oh. Oh, 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 oh. So we went across the street to the police station and told them that there were 20 people locked in the bank. In the bank. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Has Mark Edward been uh, saved, Susan? Yeah, he said that he called the non-emergency number for the police. They came out. They didn't have a key to it, but they figured out that there was, I don't know, some pen was actually on the inside and he was able to lock the door. Good. Just he took That's whatever good. pen out, threw it on the floor, locked the door, or whatever. But he's crisis averted. But he's what, what place was it, Susan? It said uh, uh, senior center on Pajaro and uh, uh, Harvest. Harvest. Oh, okay. He's been doing a magic class there Thursday nights, and somebody always comes in. They didn't teach him how to close because there's always a group that comes in after him. Uh -huh. And tonight nobody showed up. So. Uh -huh. And the I'll phone to read the book had. about Houdini, the escape artist. There is. So now, if Mark had been locked in, he would have been able to escape. It's different trying to lock. Mm -hmm. oh. Anyway, all right. So thank you guys for that. Let's see. North Korea names U.S. soldier for his first experimental manned space flight. Nine, right? Nine. Nine. Okay. Nine. Dun, 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 dun. Nine. What does that refer to? Dragnet. Dragnet. Yeah, but I know, but what? why he's dragging it? Is it in the news? There's, 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 there's some indictments oh. coming, haven't you? Oh, is that what it's from? Okay, okay. Because we've been to be a drag every, every, in Everybody needs universe. to name their team a song. Ominousness. Gail, Gail which one? Good idea. Uh, the, the, the one, the the how one, much fuel the there was one? oh the fuel yeah, okay yeah okay yeah then they yeah. say hoda hehas tehox tehox seven <laughs> can you say hoda tehox all right jesus murphy sorry about drinking the skookum screech while we were wearing toques eh eight <laughs> i thought eight. we got seven no eight eight, eight. And Rob's team, forget Florida. Joyzy is a backup plan. There was a plus or minus, Vincent, so it hit us. Okay. Where is that? Oh, sorry, eight. <laughs> okay, you didn't take us. Yeah, you didn't tank the team. Didn't tank the team. Good so, team. so as I, I'm looking at it, Susan, it's not working correctly because you didn't make the new chart correctly. Oh, let me fix this. Yeah. What? They didn't make the chart correctly. You, you see, you see on the side, they're all yellow. They're all yellow. Like everyone's oh, got the same number. Damn. Should we have a test? Should we have everybody try to show me how to fix it? Uh, no, I'll just fix <laughs> it. So the, the way you fix it, Susan, is you let Rob fix it. Yeah, go ahead. Go on. Yeah. I'll fix let it. Let Rob background. fish for you. Yeah. It's okay. Don't worry, Susan. I'll tell you about my new microphone. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh God, that okay. Or Adrian can tell us about her new microphone. Yeah, oh, cool. oh, yeah. she do can tell she us about his it. new microphone again. Oh my God, you guys, Adrian, you're up. Hurry up, please, quick. Not about my microphone. About my microphone. No, no. 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 Adrian oh, got a new microphone from Australia. Yeah, she did. Oh, yeah. I gave oh, it a box. Means. Look at that. See, why'd you start with the microphone, Alan? You, you have to put it on the floor. Bubble. 
Is it upside down? Back, Alan. You have to put it on the floor. Steiner. A oh, very Steiner. Nice. It's pretty skookum. Aha. Hey. Uh -huh. It's a skookum <laughs> microphone. Skookum. Luna's going to start talking about electric cars now, so stop. All right. Just stop. So Adrian, did you say you did a survey and that's how you got it? Yeah. Yeah. So oh. because I have a couple of road products, I've registered and they I got an email from them saying, because you own this product, fill out this survey. And then I had to come up with some kind of a reason why I like the product so much. And I don't remember what I wrote, something stupid and silly and dumb. It was <laughs> a nice color. They didn't think so. It's no, all because yeah. of Richard. Yeah. So I, I made it funny, right? Like, I, I, I don't know, I thought it was funny. And I was just being flippant. But uh, I was one of 20 people who won a microphone. Yay. Yay. So, so and I just get an email saying you won and we're going to send it from Australia. And you know how you get, you know, it said in the tagline, you're a winner. How many times have you seen that? <laughs> when you, you know, I don't even open those. They're just spam. Oh. Yes, yeah, spam. This is spam. Yeah. That's spam. <laughs> so I didn't really believe it at first. And then I read it carefully and then I looked up who it was from. And it turns out it's the marketing manager. And I looked up on the road website and I'm like, yeah, I remember doing that survey. Be okay, and I was thinking if they start asking me for money for postage, I'll go no. Yeah. But I, I didn't get. There was nothing. They just said you've won and you're going to get this, and I didn't know when. There was never a tracking number. It just showed up on my doorstep yesterday. So, so when you got it, did you look up on uh, some website how much it costs? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like two hundred and sixty dollars Canadian. So oh, wow. so like fifty That's bucks nice. American. <laughs> yeah, fifty bucks American. Yeah. <laughs> plus tax here right we got lots of tax so yeah and, and then they had to pay for shipping it not yeah, me they had they, they had, had to pay it. It. yeah, yeah. They had to. all the way from australia it came it on the shipping label it said it came from the road yeah. manufacturer in australia it was very cool how long did it take to to travel i don't know when they shipped it uh all i know is i got the email about is this adrian's round are we on a, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. a microphone? From it, it is. It is Adrian's round. I, I didn't hear the cover thing she mentioned. I did not question. hear her answer because well, plus somebody was talking. How, how? What was the time between the email and the arrival of your? Uh, I'm just trying microphone. to think of that. I think about two weeks. Was that about right? Uh, okay. About three. About three weeks. I think. About three two weeks. or three. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Plus or minus one week. <laughs> plus or minus a week. <laughs> So that will be in my Same amount of time between rounds tonight. Is that what I know? I'm getting that feeling too. <laughs> right. Jesus, right. Murphy. Come on. <laughs> I actually really love that I've been able to bring that back because my grandmother always said that. And I think wait, is this another question? <laughs> <laughs> what was your grandmother's first name or something? How is how is Adrian related to the person who <laughs> All right. You say so this all the time. My category, I'm, you know, is not I'm Canadian. Trying, I'm trying to bring in my inner Kevin Mocker because he has wow. such clever. I, and I think I've probably failed, but I did my best to 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 try and do something a little bit fun, and I've called it double or triple or quadruple quadruple trouble. In essence, what it is is the clue is going to give you information about two or more people, and they all have the same name. And you must provide the first and last name unless otherwise specified. So you have to have first and last name, and hopefully you'll figure out the theme, which will help you a little bit. I have no idea how people are going to do. Could be good, bad, or ugly. I really don't know. I have to say that wasn't me who did that category. Oh, <laughs> hey, and I, I wanted to point out that Lee has joined us now after he's been talking to llamas. For the Might have been Mike hour. Wolf. And well, I think Mike Wolf it was, yeah, that's right. I think he has done it but i thought you did one similar to this kevin you always have really interesting maybe categories. maybe a long time ago i don't know yeah you've you've done a variety of clever things so okay so as i was saying lee is now on the lowest team which is seven points so you guys that was Welcome. smart Welcome Welcome board, lee. and mike wolf's not here tonight is he so i can't no, so that is really clever just to go under one point so that you mm. get you got lee that was good that was really clever it All right, so the first one is the mathematics enthusiast hasn't met the actress who portrayed Katarina, one of Doctor Who's companions. What? Who? Huh? Huh. 
Yeah. Sorry, is this is this like a, a cryptic it's a puzzle? puzzle. Yeah, so part of the clue is talking about one person and the other part is talking about another person. And they have the same name. And they have the same name. They have the same first and last name? Correct. Oh. Unless otherwise specified. Okay. The lawyer admires a fictional character on a well-known animated Fox television show who is deeply insecure about her large and different sized feet. You know who has feet? I'm telling you. My teammates know about feet <laughs> on the last round. <laughs> the eager volunteer from New York listens to music created by a singer-songwriter often likened to, to legendary artists such as Johnny Cash, Willie Nelson, and Waylon Jennings. The Greek god from Thor has also been known as a South African anatomist, earning international acclaim for his X-ray and electron microscopy investigations of neurological conditions, a Bermudian photographer known for his photojournalism, and a writer's pseudonym. Is is Thor the movie Thor in four? This is from Thor. I can't say anything. The triathlete who recently crashed trained to star in the Disney movie McFarland USA and played Danny Diaz. And I may have mispronounced that last name. I'm not sure. No, Diaz. Is that right? Yeah. Close enough. Again. Close enough. Sounds good. The studio photographer with an extra last letter is a biochemistry and biology professor at Brown University. I think Faith has figured it out. <laughs> I see some. <laughs> All right. The participating family has one person who is the team principal of the Haas Formula One team. And you only need the, need the last name only since it's a family. <clears throat> the braided, kind and fair person was elected as the local president of the Trinidad and Tobago Triathlon Federation in 2022. The dad jokes flew around the room as one of the strangers battled opponents while their etheric energy healed their, ener their injuries. And the well-known person is addicted to love. <clears throat> okay, then. I <laughs> like it and highly approve. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Come on, come on, come on Candace. Send I us to get our it rooms. now. Don't talk. Send us to our rooms. <laughs> Lee, you are going to go to your new room. Your new room. It's gay. Say ho da ho da tejas. Room three. Otherwise known as room three. Screen and uh, put it on uh, uh well you'll excuse me. I'm gonna go get a drink because I can't answer any of these. No, so I know what the theme is, you're, right? You're 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 assuming, what? You're assuming that no, I get that, right? I the only theme. know number ten. That's it. I only know no, the team. The theme is us. Oh, because number 10 is Rob Palmer. And the studio photographer is me, six. Yeah. And yeah. The big but God is there another, door is Richard Saunders. Is there another person named Susan Gerben? No, I don't know how this thing works, but I'm just saying that the dad jokes, that's Vincent. Vincent. It could be. 
The braided kind of fair person was elected prince. That's probably Karen Araujo. Oh, yeah. The only Karen Why Araujo. Robin Welsh. The only Karen Araujo I know is like some uh, Chilean fascist. Well, apparently there's also the president of the Trinidad and Tobago Triathlon Federation. Yay! So what is this participating family has one last one person who is the team principal? Would that be the Steiners? Probably. And then who's who's number what what number? Two, number three. He's interested now. Oh, all of a sudden, because he's part of the thing. So number three. Well, I don't know. I mean, it was when you guys brought it up before I could get off my chair. <laughs> so three is um, the eager volunteer from New York listened to music created by a singer songwriter. So, yeah, but this, that but that that would that would not be either of us. Who is from New York? Mike Wolf. Uh huh. I don't know who else is from New York. It has to be Mike Wolf. We could put Mike Wolf. I didn't know he was. I, a, I haven't been putting any of the answers down. Has somebody else? Oh, but I don't know how to do this puzzle. I just know that the the theme is us. Yeah. So, to some extent, you're figuring out who fits the description. Number two is Peggy Hill. Oh, not Warren Welsh. Okay, Vincent, are you willing to write the answers in? Yeah, I am, but you guys are going way No, too no, we will crazy. we will tell you something right now calmly then. How about number 2? <laughs> number 2. Peggy Hill. Peggy. And how do we know that because because Peggy Hill is a character on King of the Hill who has different sized shoes. Oh, Pe uh, King of the Hill. I was thinking it was um what's that other Fox show, The Simpsons? Is that the okay. is that, is that So then we know that number six, Vincent, six is Susan Gerbic. How could that be? Where do you get the extra last extra last letter? The extra letter is probably the R you put in things. Susanna, maybe? Or the biochemistry professor is Gerbic with a K at the end. Perhaps. Or an H, uh, biochemistry. H. There's, there's no other famous Gerbics except somebody named Fran. Okay, so I then, I'm not talking about somebody famous. Just somebody number eight, on a Google search. Vincent. Number eight, Vincent is Karen, <laughs> K A R E N Araujo. A R A U J O. And number nine is your name, Vincent. My name. Okay. It's Vincent. Vincent. Yeah. Your full name. Okay, so dad jokes. That's Vince, yeah. our Vincent. Around the room is one of the strangers. Strangers. And then number 10 is oh, here comes Robert Michael. Palmer. Number 10 is Robert Palmer. I don't get how these work, but okay. Somebody can explain it to me. Apparently, Robert Palmer sang a song called Addicted to Love. You're going to have to face it. You're addicted to love. Well, that makes a total sense. And the well-known person, remember I asked you about that one time, Susan, because he's Rob Palmer said something about that. And I go, is he like really famous or something? And you told me the well-known thing. Mike Wolf. Okay, so we're going to put Mike Wolf. Three. Um, no, I just added oh, okay. Jane. I'll put him up here. Number four is Richard Saunders. So, oh, Brandy's back. Where'd she go? I kind of think number one is Avi Steiner. Or could it just be the last name Steiner? Number one? Wait a second. Who else is known for their enthusiasm for mathematics? Adrian? Did I spell that right? I, I don't want to insult Yeah. You. Yeah. Perfect. Well done. Steiner. Okay. Yeah, I did. 
All I have to do is seven was a strainer. So tired. It's just thank you. Um Danny Diaz, I'm gonna take a lead. What about Ramiro for number five? I don't know Ramiro's yeah. last yeah. name. But yeah, because he's a triathlete. Yeah. And he crashed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Recently crashed. What's Ramiro's last he's name? Not, Ramirez. Is... Rodriguez. Okay. R O D R I G U E Z. Dead. That's okay. I got it. Okay. So I think number number seven is Steiner, right? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. Or it could be the Naps. Oh yeah. There's two, but I don't understand how you guys get the the last part. We don't. We're guessing it based purely on the participating family. So you know, uh, there's a Steiner somewhere in the world that has something to do with the Haas Formula One team. Exactly. Or Nap. Or I Nap. Like, I like yeah. the idea of Nap better. I mean, I love the Steiners, but I, I wouldn't, I think, I bet you it's Nap. How would we know? Unless you happen to be a fan of Formula One racing to that extent, probably you don't. Well, but I've I never, have... I've never heard a uh, Steiner related to. Uh, okay, to Formula let's use now. That's that's why I'm saying it because if there were Formula One racers, Alan or somebody might have mentioned it, and he's with us, and it doesn't make any sense to him. So how about nap? Yeah, put the naps because the naps sound like they could be a Formula One racing team. Sounds reasonable. Okay, so number three is probably Kevin, right? Except. Well, Kevin's not from New York. Oh, that's right. Though he does often volunteer to do categories. So it's possible that the from New York part is merely an error. Unless he is from New where, York. Where, he yeah, not, where, where is Rob? I, I, I know we already have a Rob Palmer, but where's Rob from? Initially New York, but oh, yeah. he lives in but, Jersey now. But there's no country singer name. Um, Kevin Mocker. Don't assume that it's country. Well, Mike, Kevin's, Mike Kevin's... Wolf sounds like a country singer name. But I, okay, Jamie's right. We They're don't... saying this person is often likened to. Doesn't mean they sing the same genre. Well, why don't you put Mike Wolf until we can think of something better? imagine another susan gerbic who's a biochemistry and biology professor at brown university but there could uh, be an extra letter it could be uh gerbish gerbich or gerbic with a k or garabic because there's an extra letter oh an extra yeah. last letter okay, susanna maybe susanna basically she did a google search for your name and google said did you mean there is a susan gerbic who's my cousin now her name is is the, is my name, so, and she's a year younger than me, so I got the name first. But um, she could be a bio, biochemistry biology professor at Brown University. I don't know where's Brown University because she lives in Tennessee, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh no, it's in uh, it's in uh, uh, Rhode Island. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Okay, well, it's not Tennessee, so I don't know. Um, I didn't go to an Ivy League. <laughs> Um, I passed one once. <laughs> I have I have Ivy in my front yard. <clears throat> so what are we saying for number one? Oh, what was number one? The mathematic enthusiast. So you think Avi? it's Ivy? No. Who else is the mathemat mathematics person? Adrian. And what's her last name? Hill Hill, but you know what? I think there's, isn't she related to somebody? Didn't somebody once say something about her being a Doctor Who character? Is there an Adrian Hill that's a that's a, a Doctor Who character? Not that I recall, but I haven't seen the. Well, Adrian, Adrian Hill is a more is, is a nice showy sounding name. I don't think Avi Steiner fits into any, any of that. 
Okay. So would Adrian have actually done a category with her own name in it? Okay, let's what put Adrian those? Hill. Adrian Hill. Okay, so Adrian, Peggy, Mike, Richard, Romero, Susan, the Naps, Karen, Vincent, and Robert Palmer. Is that right? And I won't tell Avi that we 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 cut him out. Not <laughs> the actress who portrayed Karina when a dark. Yeah, I I vaguely remember something about an Adrian Hill. They mentioned it once before. She said something like, "No, I'm not the I'm not the companion that was on Doctor Who." And again, if there was an actress named Avi Steiner, I'm sure Avi or Alan would somewhat and in Doctor who of all things i'm sure someone in this group would have mentioned that to them before alan do you think you would have noticed if your son was named after a famous uh actress uh, uh, an actress yeah i probably would if it was so, after somewhere that would have come up somewhere <laughs> well it I strikes me that a... famous might be slightly overstating yeah. maybe more yeah known among certain people. but avi could be a nickname it well, be. it, it kind of is. Well, it is a nickname. Oh, what's it short for? Avram. Oh, I'm so sorry, the poor guy. Where we? Avi's a great name, though. I always love the name Avi. Hey, Avi, yeah, I that's like that's kind of why I picked it. I had. What's that? Avram. Would you say his name is Avram? A V R A M. Avram. Hmm. It's sort of like short from like uh, Abraham, Avram, Avraham. Oh, okay. That that's better, at least. Mm -hmm. But there could be a Avina, and she. Used we had a, we had a, he had an aunt who said when she heard the name the first time we told her she says it sounds too Jewish, and when we said well he's Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> True. Okay. Cool. All right, you guys, we did well, I think. I think. So, so, um, I just looked up. Oh, I'll tell you on the other side. Ooh, ooh, that sounds very official. When you have time, Adrian, what I'll get you to do <clears throat> is find one of those rabbits, carefully unfold it, and take some pictures of it for me. Sure. Close up of the, the, the writing so I can see what the brand is and where it's from. Hey, Karen, what were you going to tell us on the other side? That's a, that's one of the... Sure to, I'm sure it'll come up here. It's regarding the, the answer that has okay. a, a person that you were wondering if that person existed. The photographer one. Okay. We'll find out here. People yeah. do not exist. <laughs> Carl, I bet you you're the answer for the one we couldn't get. I don't think so. Well, I, I hope that uh, the lat one group that was struggling figured it out because they, they just started to go when I left them. So I, I hope that uh, they, they figured out what was going on. But so for question number one, the math mathematics enthusiast hasn't met the actress who portrayed Katarina. That is me. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew I'd heard that somewhere. Yeah. I yeah, but you know. spelled your name wrong. I never heard that. What? <laughs> <laughs> I think you and I talked about it once, Rob, but maybe I'm missing. I don't remember I, that. I remember did, did, we could have, maybe I forgot. Did, did she yeah. did she spell it the same weird way you do? Yeah, because if you Google <laughs> my name. Because I think we talked about it in prediction um, chat or something, because yeah. you were saying, uh, if I Google my name, it comes up as Rob Palmer from Addicted to Love. Mm -hmm. And I said, yeah, I get, I'm a, a companion for Doctor Who. Uh, yeah, but how else, how, else would you, how else would you spell Hill? <laughs> <laughs> no, is Adrian spelled wrong? M-O-U-N-T-A-I-N. Mm, I've sorry. never seen Adrian spelled in any Adrian, way she we has. got it. We, find, we did get the category because of that clue. We figured that was you, and that's how we figured it out. <laughs> awesome. Oh, we got to number 10 before. Uh, well, yeah. Okay. Number two is Peggy Hill from the King of the Hill series. So that, that could have been the pattern, two hills in a row. <laughs> I know. And I didn't even think of that when I was doing this. I kind of randomized them, too. So that's what I'm going to write. Randomizing does. All right. And, oh, I sorry, I put in the question instead of the answer. Give me a second. So the eager volunteer, there was a really interesting discussion going on in a, a group using the example, well, let's pretend it's Mike Wolf. Mm. And that's exactly who it is. Yay. It is Yay. Mississippi, and that is how they spell it. M-I-S-I-P-I. <laughs> Mike 
wolf. Never huh. I've heard of him before, but there well, you go. Well, he can have I've a whole new career. Can you sing it, Mike? What? <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear some of your Mississippi Mike. Mississippi Mike. So I'm hoping they stuck with Mike Wolf because they were right. And the next one, of course, I think most people got this one was Richard Saunders. Oh. Except Richard didn't get it. No. <laughs> no. I would have been very disappointed if he hadn't figured that one out. And the next one, you know, this is where knowing some of the people in here comes in handy was Ramiro Rodriguez. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just showing that? a picture. Richard's showing a, a, a screenshot. I mean, a, a scene. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Show it again, Richard. Uh, <laughs> As Thor in Thor. Thor. What's up? Oh, that's what that was. Okay. Right I've got some lag, lag issues here at the moment. Yeah. Sorry. There he is. <laughs> there he is. It's a Greek god. Do you guys recognize which one? Oh, one? very He's nice. The hairy one. He's the hairy, curly haired one. <laughs> laughing they said ha 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 tell a joke everybody laugh oh here comes uh -huh. and so uh, one more uh, the next one i kind of i think i worded it badly because really what it is is you take off the last letter of susan gerbeck and you get susan gerby and she's the brown university person hi wendy is uh from wikipedia i got that from wikipedia and oh when gerby yeah. I, that comes up every once in a while when I see the word. I wonder who she is. Did you get that one, Susan? Yes, of course. Okay. Yeah, I think she said right away, I'm the photographer. So that's me. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I, I'm like, who? I, this is I, other have, person. I yeah. have a cousin with exactly my, even my middle name, Susan Marie Gerbeck. And she, uh -huh. and she's, I've never met her. And I thought, well, maybe she's a biochemist biology professor the, i don't know she's a photographer who works at sears yeah. she gets oh so God. much hate mail from thomas john <laughs> yes. is that where it's all going she, she does not know why <laughs> oh she does yeah she is a, oh there is a wikipedia page See, there's a, a big wikipedia page about her oh wow we need to get her on oh she needs definitely to go to a psych line. she's like, that's, that'd be hilarious that'd be funny she's well, older she than i am and the next one is there was lots of talk and lots of people said this, but a lot of people didn't put this into their answers. They talked themselves out of it. And it is Gunter Steiner, who is oh. We had Alan on our team. You little you oh. little Scott. I had no idea either. I, yeah. We we put oh. nap. We put the nap. We had we had, yeah. we had Alan on our team is going, nope, it's not us. Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, okay, it must be the naps. They yeah. sound like a they sound a little more like a and uh, we quite often have Avi as well. Right? Really like one team call on here. Mm. Yeah, 50 50, we missed it. Anyone yeah. who didn't get that are a bunch of wankers, according to Gunter <laughs> Steiner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gunter Steiner is known for frequently using the term wankers. Yeah. Uh -huh. How do you know these things? I know a lot about Formula One. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think Why would you know anything there? about Formula yeah. One? I watch Formula I, One all the time. I would have gotten that one because I, I, I'm i actually a kind of a fan of Gunter. He's kind of funny. He makes me laugh. I, I, I am hilarious. shocked that Adrian Carl, and Carl, Carl knows that because he has an encyclopedic knowledge of everything. He he must, matter, though you may think he's German, he's actually Italian from Southern Tyrol. He speaks a lot of mm. languages. I, I'm bit. shocked. All right. So the next That's one weird. is our good friend. And I think most of you got this because of the braids. It's Karen. Yay! <laughs> Do we have to include every single name she uses? <laughs> <laughs> no, because the other names doesn't include the the triathlon head of the triathlon in. Yes. And I was telling I was telling them that the only uh, the person I mostly get is some fascist leader from South America, uh -oh. has, and a, she a writer about championing fascism. So are you happy to hear that there's this lovely lady who that is wonderful i'm very happy <laughs> thank you adrian you could, have, you could have used for that one person goes by two different first names both of which mean a tall vertical structure well there you go <laughs> and right. this one All i right. think most people got this because of the dad jokes it was Yay. a giveaway so that's from marvel comics and some uh -huh. of you did actually get yeah. that from uh the, mm -hmm. the strange 
Oh, I had no idea. We knew it was Vincent know, right away, but we Vincent's didn't know why. Strange, and the other, I can't. The other one is something else strange. Do you get that all the time, Vincent? People confuse Stephen you Strange, with Marvel Carm Stephen, Carm thank you. No, Stephen, I'm well now. Anyways, so. <laughs> 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 and lastly, I think everybody got this one. That was Rob Palmer. That was I gave Palmer. away everything. Yeah. That's well, I, yeah. I, I, I'm, as that. you're giving the numbers, I'm, I have no idea. I have no idea what the hell this is about. And I said, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I didn't know a thing until until you got to 10. And I was like, 10? Well, Faith, you That's can Rob check yourself on the back because I think you started getting it. Was it Ramiro that gave it away? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I wait, saw wait. the studio photographer and I thought, well, who would be a studio photographer that would be, no, that's, yeah, he, he everybody was sharing, he wants to share his helmet so you can see, like, oh, this, is, oh, wow. and it goes all the way back to here. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Yeah, so helmets, um, uh, helmets can be good. Yes, I'm very thankful this one had the whole visor cover because it could have been much, much worse. But Oh, that is nasty. Yeah. Okay. And I'm not even angry that I did the same category <laughs> and you stole it. But you weren't there that week, which I know because I had to take out the one that I had about you being Katrina. Oh, oh. Well, she said you weren't here, Mike, when she introduced the category tonight. She was talking yeah. about how she this was a repeat of yours. It was, I was thinking it was Kevin's or, or you, um, but then I was corrected. It was yours. And uh, so, yeah, this is an ode to your types of category. An homage. Kevin, Kevin showed, uh, homage to Mike. Yeah. So that's good. That to you Mike and up. Kevin. Yeah. You showed up to hear it. Okay. Let's see what we got for scores. It's Keep in mind, Wendy's here. So that means. Gosh, you guys haven't been playing. <laughs> yeah, we've been playing. <laughs> yeah, we've been playing. <laughs> It's been a we slow were waiting for a lot you. of talking. We were waiting for you, Wendy. We were waiting for you, Wendy. Mar Mar Mark had it. Well Mark, Mark, hey, we were waiting to see if Mark would be locked up. So yeah, <laughs> yeah that was true. We thought he'd just spend the night there. You'll we didn't to start till well after ten o'clock. Que se joda, Tejas. Eastern time. It, it helps that four of those names were in our group. We got yeah. ten. Yes. Uh, oh. <clears throat> okay, so you will not be getting Wendy. Um, <sighs> Jesus Murphy, sorry about drinking the snookum screech while we were wearing toques, eh? We got nine. Because we messed up on our Steiners. We <laughs> were going to put Steiner, but we talked yourself out of it because Alan said he didn't know. All right, forget Florida. Joyzy's the backup plan. Yeah, we did the exact same thing as you did. We messed up on the Steiners. Nine? Nine. Ooh. How, we're going to have to split Wendy into fifths. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> dun, 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 dun. We only had seven because we missed two last names. We didn't know the people's last names. We had the right people. <gasps> we had Steiner, though. <laughs> we had Steiner because we knew that one. All right. We didn't that might remember be, Vince's last name. You might be getting windy. All right. North Korea named oh, US soldier for its first experimental manned space flight. Nine. Which one did you miss? Mike Wolf. Oh my. Who did you put, Kevin? We we put, and we thought a long time to come up with that. You put who? We put <laughs> nothing. Oh, he put it nothing. It took us a long time to come up with that. He put nothing. Is that what yeah. he's saying? Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. Apparently. Yeah. We put All a right, Taylor Wendy, Swift song. You're on dun 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 dun. Blank space. Yeah, this is, I don't think I've ever seen this this close. 16, 17, 17, 17, and 18. So no pressure or anything. Who's the next? Who's playing next? It's um. Oops, I went past it. It's Peggy. Did da -da. you ask for our team score, or did I miss it? Yeah, we just put a score for you. It didn't matter. So let's do our fo a photo. They're all about the same. Let's you're you're in you're in the lead, Richard. You got ten. You got uh, no. You're not uh, off by no, one we're point. We're in second. We're in second. Off by one point. Right. 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 Wait, they're in second. Is everybody's in second? <laughs> <laughs> Except us. Who's, a, who's on first? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Third base. I want smiles. Ready? Oh, sorry. Let me see. No yawn. Smiles. One, two, three. <laughs> Jamie looks up at the very last second. Jamie, Jamie with Caspian. Jamie on the couch looks up at the very last second. She goes, she's like this. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got the cat's ear too. 
I saw that. Okay, so five minutes, and we've got five a minutes. bunch of stuff to cover. So you better do like four mm -hmm. minutes. Bye, everybody. Good night. Bye, Vincent. Good night, Vincent. Bye. 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 Yeah, and my computer Thanks. lasted. So uh, Thanks for the point. I was praying to, uh, for it. Thanks for the point, Vincent. Uh, I, I prayed was, for uh, it. I was, uh, I'm going to um, figure out why it uh, keeps restarting all the time. I think I know why now. So, well, Vincent, okay. from now on, we know your last name. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll show the I'll show this with you guys when we come back from break. Okay. So did anyone else go see that new uh, Barbie movie? Uh not out till tomorrow for us. Tomorrow. Oh, no, I went to see it today. It's terrific. It's a hoot. You should go see it. I, I'm going because don't say anything more. Don't say a damn thing more. Can I want to go. They're all dolls, Susan. They're all dolls. They're not real. <laughs> yeah. oh, after you see the Bar Barbie movie, go and listen to the podcast that Rachel Maddow did. It is fantastic. But are they communists? Some of them. Most of them are afraid of the gumminist. She did this. They have the new one, Deja News. Oh, I and like Deja News. All kinds of history that I no one ever taught me, and well, that I never saw know. anywhere. Come on. Oh. oh. I thought I was missing the whole game. Oh, there you go. So I got lucky. I um my councilman, my uh no assemblyman is um Brad Sherman, and he's very progressive. And he has um in real life before COVID, he had these town halls look for um his constituents in the San Fernando Valley. And I used to go to them and um, instead now he does telephone town hall. So that was what was happening this uh, this evening. And I was um, listening to him and I thought I would just check in and see if there was still any trivia going on. And there is. It's not even half done yet. <laughs> I'm, I'm thrilled. Okay. You okay now? Nice puppy. Yeah, well, she's she was barking. I think she's mad at me because she went to the groomers today. So oh. uh, my dog is a faithless slut. He's he loves the groomer. Oh. Yeah. Well, no, she she likes the groomer. It's just she doesn't like being. Uh, I don't think she. You know, the groomer. It's a mobile groomer, so they come out here to the ranch. But I just oh, don't think she likes being in the. Well, you have enough the out there for a couple of hours. You make it worth the groomer's while. <laughs> it, He's got um, a bunch of dogs. Yeah. He, I take Jackie over to Christine's house, and he knows when we're on her street. And he starts you know, trying to climb through the window, okay. and actually through the glass. Okay. <laughs> All right. He really he's down from one, from one of our big our big winners, and that well, the way you do it is you brought him to the vet's office, a special vet, not his usual vet, and we put a bitch and season in front of his nose, and he'd ejaculate into a into a, a, a vessel. I'm so glad uh, I'm recording this. And he kind of thought this was a fine idea. So every time we get there, he'd start wagging his tail. He'd get all excited. He thought it was a brothel, I think. Lovely. You were talking about your brother, right? I was talking about um, a dog. I was like, <laughs> wait, what, what is this conversation about? But that was like um, my, my uh, daughter and, and son-in-law 
were oh. raising <laughs> my, my um my grandson in a they were trying like they were trying to do all of the ritual Jewish stuff which I never did but and my mother never did and my grandmother never did but my daughter and my uh son-in-law were trying to have this um uh kind of kosher existence and so the the um the custom is if you have a boy baby not to get the um little boy's haircut until he's like three years old and it's because um of the story of adam and eve that adam had another wife and um and i forget her name right now no. It'll, pardon lilith, lilith right and and so um and so that's why they call it the lilith fair among other reasons i didn't know i didn't know anything about this until this happened with my grandson and his first haircut and they explained to me i thought they just were making him look really cute because he had curly hair and he and he they had it braided into a little tail and he looked like this cute little toddler hippie and i and i was all jazzed about that but what was really going on was that they were letting his hair grow until his third birthday because of this custom or um yeah custom which was to protect boys from being kidnapped by Lilith um they 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 let the boy's hair grow long like a girl and Lilith would think that that it was a girl and not a boy and she wouldn't try to kidnap him and I'm going nobody ever told me that story and it's really stupid but it's interesting <laughs> <laughs> but then he got all these presents they made a big deal out of his first haircut and he got a whole lot of presents and a, and a bigger than usual birthday party and the um the grandchild he thought on the next year when he was four that it was going to be like the the third year birthday that he could remember that he got so many oh. <laughs> a haircut now maybe it was just the next haircut yeah it wasn't his birthday it was the next haircut he thought he was going to get presents again <laughs> solely so, disappointed it was. he grew up to be a hairdresser <laughs> no uh, he works for a, a production company that is in some way connected to Snoop Dogg and he's and he's and well there's always time for him to go to a successful career as a hairdresser <laughs> <laughs> now, he's got an interesting job he has a he had a, a good education and and uh an interesting job and he's married and he and his wife live in the um guest cottage that our conver garage conversion behind my daughter's house he's never moving away <laughs> well, how can you afford to live anywhere else? Are we all back? Let me see. Alan's not here, so we got to talk about him. We can talk about Faith and Romero. We can talk about Deborah, Brandy, Jane in Oregon, Bill, Jane in Oregon. Oh, I glanced down and she looked like she was there to me. He was She's, not She's just and very Rob, still. Rob Palmer has, has Brandy can uh, still hear you. Has changed oh. into something strange. Where's Rob? Not strange, just AI. Where is he? Oh, down nothing, there. Nothing intelligent about that. Were you here earlier, Leonard, right. when I said I was I was visiting the Bay Area again? No. When are you coming in? I'll be there practically all of August. August first. When are you August arriving? First of August. The and first. I'll be giving a, a workshop. Jeannie's uh, arranging a workshop for me to give in Berkeley. It'll be either the 12th or the 13th. Cool. Oh, you're going to be kidding. What? Yeah, I definitely want to go to that. I wanted to go to that. I'm not. Yeah, I, told, I told you. No, but I can't be there for that. No. I Maybe have to be. I'm, a, I'm driving up to Seattle. Damn it. Well, that, well, that's why I said maybe I could do one down your neck of the woods. Okay, that makes some sense. I'll see, I can, <laughs> I'll see how that works. I have Portland. Okay, darn it. All right, we'll have to see. Damn it. Anyway, everybody's back. No, almost. Okay, so let's do our announcements really quick. Rob, you have something? Uh, what do I have? Well, I've done three oh. interviews that have not been published yet, so we'll see what happens. 
I mentioned, I think last time, because that was a couple of weeks ago, um, did Eugenie Scott and McWest. And just this last, when was it, Monday, I did um, the producer, director, writer, choreographer, everything you can mention from the film, um, which is just two people. They had a lot of jobs. Uh, that's going to be screened at SciCon, which is a virulent the vaccine war, which I had the opportunity to watch in preparation for this interview. And it is fantastic. So I'm looking forward to what people uh, say about it when everyone sees it. I hear they have a oh. new Wikipedia page. Yeah, that, so that was... Um, yeah, somebody in GSOW were recording, so I won't give details. But somebody in GSOW did it after uh, you know after they found out about this, and uh, yeah, of course the the, the the production team was was thrilled that there was a Wikipedia page for it. Yeah, that's that is really awesome. They'll get us a lot more interviews. <laughs> Advanced notability. <laughs> Advanced. That's wonderful. Yeah. So surprisingly, even though it's not available for commercial viewing yet. You can only go to events where, you know, or groups have organized and, um, you know, gotten a hold of them to to do a screening. There were quite a number of reviews from notable sources that, you know, made a Wikipedia page possible. So mm -hmm. there you go. What's the name of the film? Virulent, the Vaccine War. You'll oh. see, you'll be able to find it again in, uh, uh, mentioned on PsyCon's uh, website. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and when, when the, I release uh, the interview, team page. We, we talk quite a lot about it. Interestingly, I'm actually interviewing Paul Offit next week because he's a speaker. And what I didn't know is cool. he's in this movie a lot. So you know, oh, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rewrite some of my questions to talk about that aspect of it, too. That'll be fun. Um, so. Um, so oh, and my, my big news also uh -huh. is that just today I got a time arranged we were having trouble connecting an email, but finally I did. Uh, I'm going to be interviewing Richard Dawkins. Oh, wow. Hi. Nice. He's got a great accent. <laughs> <laughs> if you can understand him. Yeah, luckily, it's not one of the British ones I have trouble with. Oh, yeah. He speaks slowly. So, Saunders, you have a podcast, I hear? <laughs> no. Okay, skipping him. No, no, but Adrian does. <laughs> he's got yes. a zone this week on the skeptic zone podcast we have the next wave from the pages of the skeptic magazine the journal from australian skeptics richard saunders casts an eye on the to the horizon in search of predicted tsunamis he's still waiting and we're gonna he's gonna talk about qed with andy wilson about the conference in Manchester. Sorry. Um, I don't want to start singing. Manchester. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I didn't and know you were a fan of hair. Oh, I love hair. It's one of my favorite musicals. Oh, wow. We'll have to sing that someday. Yeah. I love all the music from it. My parents had the album and I played it until it couldn't work anymore. And then you can count on Adrian with skeptical visitors in Calgary, Canada, which we've talked about here for the last few weeks, and a dive into Trove. We get to wander through the decades of digital, digitized Australian newspapers on a search for references to the end of the world. Is that okay, Richard? Nice. <laughs> well done. Well done. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta edit it. And up. what and what's the URL? Uh, okay, www.skepticzone.tv. Thank you. Very good. Very good. <laughs> and and Richard has has been explaining that he's going to be here in America in California and then later in Oregon yep. in August. So I'll be going. Oh, August, yeah. I'm going to Wait. be going up, I'm going to be driving up to uh Seattle. It, right about the time that Richard's giving his 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 thing in. Um, well, 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 if you're driving up, you can you can visit for on your trip. No, you? I am going to Sacramento and dropping off all of the Jerry Andrus stuff. Oh, I got to get those recordings anywhere up near Berkeley. <laughs> I got to get those recordings up here. No, the, I have them. They, they're I'm copying them. So yeah, yeah, that that's what I mean. I got to get the digitized copies from you. Yeah, but I know I will always no. have them. I will not All have right. them like as an emergency. There, I will always have them. All right, so that's great. Hey, I hear Kyle. I hear you have a podcast. Something about shoes. 
Yeah, this week, Data Skeptic features an interview with a researcher who authored a paper titled Deep Learning and Artificial General Intelligence, Still a Long Way to Go. Despite all the recent advances in AI, there are some good arguments to suggest that we are still a long way off from building a truly artificial intelligent machine. That's this week on Data Skeptic. Thank you, Kyle. Well done. Very, no, very I, well I, done. I, now I understand why that Kyle is awesome. showing his side of Very good. <laughs> oh. That is so confused. That is so <laughs> confused. That's so how, wonderful. How lazy must you be to get somebody else to spruik your own podcast? Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, Kyle, Kyle, I thought was I was Kyle. Kyle, Kyle had turned to the side. That's hilarious. Like, like, what is happening? Are we oh, into you, guys are, you guys are something else. Oh, that was great. You guys are hilarious. Uh, Susan, I guess there aren't too many pe other people in the Bay Area, but... Uh, if, if anyone cares, um, August 4th and 5th, the Vintage Computer Festival West is happening at the um, Computer History Museum in uh, Mountain View, and I will be giving a talk. Oh, wonderful. Right. I know where that is. We you should have sent that to you. me, Leonard. You should have sent that to me. Um, are are you going to be in? Uh, no, Mountain I would have just said. Your, what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sent, sent a script to you. Yeah. I should have oh, sent that would been, you. Yes. you guys are that would really good. Um, okay, I have just tomorrow, Adrian and I and Janice Boyton are going to be doing a Facebook Live. It'll be appearing on my Facebook feed. And that is about a facilitated communication video we're going to be ana analyzing, I guess is the word for it. That we have not, uh, I have not looked at it. I think Adrian has looked at it, but that's going to be really fun. Yet. We just did a video just last Tuesday. Was yes. it just Tuesday? Yes. So we did an, uh, we did something really unusual. It's got forty six views. That's all. We did something very unusual. We took a ten minute video of a psychic giving a reading, and we turned it into two hours, fifteen minutes, and forty six seconds. <laughs> <laughs> that's the amazing part and what we did is we all three of us janice adrian and i watched a video on a psychic and we had not watched the video before we didn't have a clue and it and then we did over a facebook live we had several people who were there including uh lee was anybody else i can't remember i, can't I was there for the I first did. minute and a half oh thank you rod that <laughs> made everything they made all the difference um carolyn was there for a while i think Think Penny better. There. Yeah, but no, nobody in this nobody room here right now. No, there, I, I started after the fact. But it was amazing. And then I went back and watched it, part of it today, and we missed so much. And we were sitting there with our own, like, pencil and papers and taking note. And gosh, it must be insane to be able to do, to sit for a reading and expect to know what's going on. There's just too much happening too quickly. And then when you're in an emotional state, you're going to really blow it. You miss it. Yeah, yeah you're going to yeah, miss that's it. Just, that's a great example of Brandolini's Law. Who? Brandolini's Law. Do you remember that one, Richard? Yeah, I do. The but bullshit I... asymmetry uh, principle. Yeah. That it takes at least an order of magnitude more yes. effort to debunk something than it yeah. does to produce the bunk in the oh, first place. Oh, I like that. It, it, it's kind of in line yeah. with the, the, the Gish Gallop. The Gish Gallop, yeah. 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 There's a lot. Of, and then, you know, Adrian and Janice and I, we just get chatty. So it, that makes it a little bit easy. I can't I put the imagine line. that. Yeah, I put the link to the link <laughs> Difficult to, to square that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. between Susan's chattiness and Adrian's giggling, how could you possibly get anything <laughs> uh, done? Adorable. We were we were great. It was. Did, really did Janice fun. get to talk? Oh yeah, she got to talk a lot. <laughs> you so get the I, three of us together. It's it's. Oh yeah. yeah. So I put the link in the in the chat. If anybody's interested, it's called Medium Fleur. The question was, we know she's faking it, but was it a hot or a cold reading? So that was really interesting because we didn't agree. Kenny and, Biddle was there, and he and was Kenny Biddle would he didn't was agree. Like, no. So we were really all of us were like. It was very interesting to 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 see the dichotomy between the group of us. Okay, anyway, so are, gonna, um, are you going to put out what observations you came up with that you thought we missed? Because I'm now I, you have me really. Oh, I wrote it, I wrote it underneath the the video that I just. Oh, noticed. okay, I'll take a look. Yeah. I was doing that, yeah. 
So it was really interesting, the stuff we missed. Okay, so the last thing I want to cover, unless there's something else anybody's got, is tomorrow's Deborah's birthday. Oh, so uh, you know what that coming. means. And I don't know. You guys have to let me know if your birthday's coming up. I'm not some magic person who can just know these. Who so can like look it up any. on Facebook. Party is going to be having her birthday pretty soon. Who? A certain party named. Oh, yeah. Who's Another one. There? Oh, Susan, no, no, I don't have Adrian Hill. Yeah, I, you know. I, I don't have those, but Adrian's right after mine. <laughs> but I don't know these things, so I don't want to skip it anyway his birthday. So if you guys got a birthday coming up, please let me know because it just, I don't know these things. So let me know. I'm, not I'm, I'm having one within the next year. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> so, so you guys know the real. So since, uh, oh, and Paul and Lynn said they're going to be coming back uh next week or so because they've been traveling for weeks so they said they would be back soon all right so deborah is having a birthday so you guys know the drill what we got to do so we've got to welcome her into her next year and she needs this good luck from us and that means we need to say happy birthday to her of course in the in the trivia style which is as bad as you can get <laughs> in any tempo you want and it can get bad it can get bad and of course we're recording so i'll start you ready everybody go for it happy, happy birthday, birthday to you Thank you. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I think Susan, you should excerpt that as a TikTok and just post that to TikTok. Oh, I finally get my fame right there. Hey, just I have one. Deborah, I have one more thing. In the right place. I have one. I know more that. Thing. Yes, because right you're right all here. upright and breathing. That means yeah, your heart's in the right place. So Romero has something. Oh, he's old. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, what? what? Yeah, so I told Susan that uh, uh, our local skeptics group leader had to go away pretty quickly, and then he he was like, "Hey, please take over and organize something." So I had to think of something at the very last minute. Uh, so I was trying to come up with something yesterday, and uh, I thought, like, "Oh, maybe we could uh, like read a scientific paper, and uh, like no, that so might be interesting." But I don't know. Probably some people that, would be uh, bored by it. So instead, I decided to do like a mini um, trivia for them. So I came oh. out with some questions. Like it was like skept kind of like skeptical trivia, and like people really liked it. Like it was uh, it was a blast. Like people were laughing. Uh, they were separated into groups of two people each, and they really got to know each other. Um, they were like new people that came to our group. And then, you know, people didn't want to leave, like they kept talking afterwards. So I think that the, yeah, like this group had a good influence, you know, like good inspiration for our skeptical group. So. Wow, what a, what a great thing to do. I think that's lovely. Isn't that a great you, story? You yeah. owe Susan franchise fees. Yay, <laughs> That was a really clever idea. And I loved how he's, it, one of the other things he said and the message he sent to me was that you could tell they were having a really good time because and that they they bonded because they were exchanging numbers and stuff with each other afterwards. Like, how can I get a hold of you? You know, getting their contact information. That's a really good sign that that you've got something going on with your group. How many people were showing showed up? Nine. So it was a small group, you know, but uh yeah, it was just like a lot of talking, really a lot of uh, interaction was going on. Uh, uh, there you go. There is my FC. Potential. Potential Thursday night beat victims. <laughs> Is right, yeah. right my video? Thank you for joining us and being joined. Bill, by... you're watching Susan. This is going to be different. Now, we can still Bill. hear you. Bill, He's mute yourself. 10 hours with me. He's watching my video. Yeah, that's hilarious. Thank you, Bill. All right. Very, very good. Thank you, Romero, because that was really fun. I, I love that little treat. 
because I think it's true. This group is really, you know, we, we bonded with each other. And even if a new person showed up, we would bond with them too. And I think it's a really wonderful yeah. testament to, to the power of um, you know, community. So I think it's the great. The event was scheduled through nine and he didn't get home till maybe like 30 minutes to midnight. So yeah. oh, that's because that's he went to the strip club after. <laughs> <laughs> but he took the other eight people. <laughs> uh, Susan, I want to make a quick announcement just so that everybody knows. I have that parliamentary procedure class I told you about. Today was its last, yesterday was its last day, and we played Jeopardy the last day, and Karen won. Ooh, well, that doesn't shock me at all. Of course, she won. It was so fun, Gail. I loved it. <laughs> Romero, you were saying something else? Oh no, yeah. I mean, it's. I think it's uh, like another cool thing too. Is I mean, we've been, we've met people on trips that we've taken on two of our last trips, and we met Susan and Adrian, and so you know, it was very enjoyable also to uh, know people in other parts of the country or the world. Yeah, I agree. You know, it's just really cool when I see people going and meeting other people in other places. I just love this stuff. Yeah. So listen on the zone for Faith and Romero this. Week. Yeah, they'll be on this week with with his with his um foot problem yep with yeah this, problem. Foot problem. <laughs> <laughs> you and kyle are going to blend into my mind as people with feet. and rob palmer okay very good okay so we don't have people for next week we need to get people for next week oh subscribe to my youtube channel please i really would appreciate it i'm trying so hard to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of august it is such a struggle to gain followers. My gosh, you would be hey, shocked. Susan, maybe uh, I tell you what, use your microphone and record me a one minute promo for your YouTube and I'll put it on the show. Well, you were going to, we're going to do an interview for the. Um, yeah, well, well, but in the meantime, before we get to do that, if you do that today or tomorrow, I can put it on this week's show. Oh, Hi, this is Susan. Yes, Susan. You might know that say thank you, Susan. Say yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Richard. Okay. Say yes. Okay. Yes, and I'll get it to you tomorrow. I know I'm doing a bonus offer. tonight, Susan, but I'll gladly do a round next week. <gasps> oh, thank you so much for offering. Are you Kyle or Carl? I get you guys confused. I, I'm Kyle with a K. See? <laughs> Kyle with a K. Right there in my name. Kyle. Why does that confuse me so much? <laughs> okay, I'm so we so have confused. Carl. I wrote Kyle. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. I'll prepare a category just in case. Okay. All right. <laughs> Kyle and Carl. Okay, Kyle. You're Kyle. Kyle with the shoes. Okay, got it. All right. Let's move on to Gail, because I know Gail's ready. And then I will start, I will start pulling the arms back behind your your right, Kyle. So you got uh, written you got written down. I don't know if you said that intentionally or, or he took you seriously. We're he team took, four, Susan. She took you seriously. Kyle. Did what, you mean Gail? did you mean to do a category? Yeah, he's gonna do a category. And I'm team three, so I would be next. Gail would be team four and she would follow me. Yeah, yeah. okay. I already gave you We're your permissions. We're only no, but you said break. you were going to Gail, so we were just going. Oh, to okay. Staying, no, not I with, know no, it's Peggy. Doing. Oh God, I'm getting Peggy and Gail confused now. Oh Lord. Yeah, you're yeah. you're just now. We're so alike. The names are so similar. You both have glasses. So similar. <laughs> it is Peggy's turn. She has her permissions. All right. Thank you for my permissions. Well, I gave it to you ages ago. Um. Yeah, but I have it on a tiny little box, and so I can't see that part. Okay. Um, so tonight's category is famous chefs. Famous chefs was inspired by a recent viewing, which I had put off of the bear. And if you haven't seen the bear, it is fabulous. Watch it. It's on Hulu. All right. Bear that so, does cocaine. I'm sorry. Is it the bear that does cocaine? It's not cocaine bear. Although I actually did watch that because I was so bored. And, <laughs> That's not a good endorsement of the movie. Cocaine Bear is a masterpiece. It is amazing. It, it, it's, it's watchable in an interesting way. Okay, this famous chef lived from 1846 to 1925. French chef, restaurateur, writer who popularized and updated traditional French cooking methods. He codified the recipes for the five mother sauces. 
other sauces. Ooh, that sounds. Mother sauces. Mother sauces. <laughs> Jesus Murphy. I don't think I muted anybody and I don't care unless you guys get really ugly. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Number two. Challenge accepted. Head start on that. <laughs> this is actually two brothers and their lifetimes were 1783 to 1861 and 1788 to 1842. Brothers who created a family dynasty of restaurants and restaurateurs, founders of the first fine dining restaurant in New York City. Re they represented the start of American fine dining cuisine and set a standard for dining excellence in America. Well, I just need a last name, kind of Steiner-like. I just need either brother's <laughs> last name because they have the same last name. Oh, and that, oh. what a coincidence. Could they be the Steiners? They're not the Steiners. I'll give you that as a big, strong hint. Okay. They're wrestlers. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And this one is number three, uh, Italian chef and writer whose books were published in English and credited with introducing the public in the United States and the UK to the techniques of traditional Italian cooking. Her first published book, the classic Italian cookbook was published in 1973. <coughs> she won a James Beard Award, not James Bear, but look, see how focused focus <laughs> on the bear. James Beard Award for the best Mediterranean cookbook, a Julia Child Award for best international cookbook. She said garlic presses should be avoided at all cost. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> what does she know? If you're a yeah, vampire. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Number four, 1944 to current, um, former activist in the free speech movement and famous for creating the farm to table movement and pioneering California cuisine. She created an edible schoolyard program and is a national public policy advocate for universal access to health, healthy organic foods. She opened her famous restaurant in the Bay Area in 1971, which was named for a favorite French film character. Pepe Le Pew? <laughs> are last names sufficient for these like for number three um i gotta think about it for a minute probably but okay. let me let me think about it can we just like specify mrs whatever because in case they have relatives that are the same name that also are chefs um, let me oh, think. Somebody's hot and knows a lot of information. I'm going to start muting you guys. Come on. All right. Moving on. Questions. Number five, eight, 1964 to current restaurateur, celebrity chef, cookbook author, entrepreneur, former Iron Chef who has hosted 16 or more cooking shows on Food Network and the Cooking Channel. Has an internet famous cat and a brand of cat food named for his cat. He has won a Michelin star, a number of Emmys, three James Beard Awards, and many other things. Number six. Nineteen thirty-five to present. French chef, author, culinary educator, television personality, and artist. Was the chef for Charles de Gaulle and then a chef at Howard Johnson's. Had a cooking show with Julia Child in nineteen ninety-nine has won 24 James Beard Foundation Awards. His career as a restaurant chef ended in 1974 following a near fatal car accident. He paints chickens, food, and other rustic things. How does he get him to stay still long enough to... <laughs> does he, he probably does. He, he just, he just knows what they look like, you know? So. Oh, thing. he... he I, well, chickens move pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he, he holds it down while he paints them. He Ruins paints the cool, food. Cool Number chicken. seven. <laughs> 1935 to present English food writer chef baker and television presenter has published more than 75 cookery books has hosted several television series for the BBC and Thames television she was a judge on the great British bake-off with Paul Hollywood for six years oh. I know one now <laughs> who said that Someone who likes the great British oh, Bake Off, Kyle. evidently. Carl, Kyle, Carl, Kyle, Carl, Carl. Carl. I'm not sure. Kyle, Carl. All right. So this one Kyle, is Kyle, number Kyle, eight. Kyle. 
1955 to present, American chef, restaurateur, and cookbook author, established a landmark Napa Valley restaurant, The French Laundry, which is a perennial winner of Restaurant Magazine's list of top 15 restaurants in the world. He got a three-star Michelin guide rating for his New York City restaurant, Per Se, and is the only American chef to have been awarded simultaneous three-star Michelin ratings for two different restaurants. He was a consultant on the Pixar film, Ratatouille. Number nine, number nine. Come on, copy. Where are you, copy? What is a fimmel? It's like a film, only um, misspelled. Dyslexic, dyslexic film, yeah. It's a dyslexic film. Right. <laughs> number nine, 1948 to present, former staff member of the Office of Management and Budget, food author, host of highly successful Food Network program. She bought a specialty food store in 1978 in West Hampton Beach, New York, named after a 1954 film. She appeared as herself on an episode of 30 Rock. And finally, that paste there, number 10. A writer, former Iron Chef, former restaurateur, he appeared on a popular Food Network show from 1996 to 2004, which made him a household name. He was a co-host, <laughs> he was a co-host of the daytime talk show, The Chew, from 2011 to 2017. He was accused of multiple incidents of sexual harassment starting in 2017 and became the first chef to surrender ownerships in all of his restaurants after reports of sexual misconduct. So is that Putin's chef? Because that's the only chef I know. <laughs> Pagosian? No? You'll know more. People in your, people in your room. Okay, well, I know that. They always know more than I know. All right. Good so job, we're going to go. send you off. Where is my oh. more? Blah, 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 blah. So I should be able to send you somewhere. Go for where? it. And I am looking for my. To the moon. Oh, to the moon. Bang, zoom. Are you sure it's down here? What's it under? Bring out rooms. Oh, and I think I'm going to go to the wrong room because I was in the wrong room when I closed it. So you'll have to re reassign me. It doesn't. I don't have breakout rooms. Rob, Rob did it. Rob, I just, yeah. I just yeah, I see that Rob did it. I just want Susan to know that I didn't get it. You have it. Well, it's not on my screen. Well, okay. I, I'm waiting for everybody to stop moving around for a second so I get this. Not moving. We're being taken to our rooms. Okay. All right. Right, right. There. No, you okay, have your got, You I do got have it. them. It, the you icon have, doesn't You show. had them because it the says icon, the icon did not show up. Fine. Just fine. And I I'm appreciate my, that I had I'm it. I'm doing my job. I need to go to room two. Okay. You have you have powers, agents. You can go wherever oh, you want. Oh, thank you so much. So Wendy is going to four. Okay. And there you go. Okay. Everybody else should be okay. I'm going to three. Number three, I think, is Joe Bastianich's mother. And I don't know her name, first name, but I know her last name is Bastianich. How do you spell that? Um, I have it as B S T I A N C H. So butcher it okay. however it's Italian, like she's no. So what, Bastiani or? Bastianich. A-C-H. Yeah, Bastianich. Just spell it. <laughs> Close I enough. Think, you call her Mrs. Bastianich because her son is another famous chef. Maybe Maria okay. It might be Maria Bastianich, but. I right, I'll, go, I'll go with that for the time being. Spelling doesn't count. I got Alice Waters for number four. Okay. okay. Number Number two, I think, is Delmonico's. That was the big Delmonico. restaurant in New York. Oh, that could be, yeah. Okay, let's go with that one. Number five is Bobby Flay. Oh, that would make sense. Okay. He he does pet food for his cats. 
Tat. I don't um, know any of these. Is any one of these answers Colonel Sanders? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Colonel Sanders. I, know, I always thought it might be Chef Boyardee. Might Chef be Boyardee. Right. No, we had him last Boyardee. week. I know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> the only other one I know is number nine, and that is Ina Garten. Uh, you know, okay. Peggy wasn't here last week, so she wouldn't have known about Chef Boyardee. That's true. That's why I said Putin Chef Bogosian. <laughs> well, he was a real oh, chef. Yeah, I love Ina. Her husband's like a, a, an engineer for NASA and she like works for the White House and she's making like food for Jeffrey in the Hamptons. It's cute. Susan should know this one. No, there's a French, French, laundry. French laundry. Thomas Keller, right? Thomas Keller? Yeah. The owner of the French laundry restaurant? I think so, yeah. Go with Thomas Keller. For which one? Eight. Because we wanted to eat at the French laundry. Okay. And he's the owner of it? And we looked it up. Okay, I don't remember. You wanted to eat at French Laundry. They said it's by near Susan for Susan. Hmm? Is the French Laundry near where you live? Well, not very close. Where I live? Yeah, north of San Francisco. Oh, oh, Santa Rosa. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's one where uh, Newsom went to. And I and he got in trouble because he didn't. He went out during the COVID, and he was telling people you can't go anywhere. And then he shows up the French Laundry. Who is God. the French chef that worked with Julia Child? Yeah, Julia number, Child, number six. You talk about Julia Child. You didn't talk about Julia Child. So they bought it grand. Well, it's a and tough one. It's a it's a tough one because he's a French chef. Finch. He's a French chef. He's a French chef. I have her book of um, French cooking downstairs. I need to make stuff from it. So did you get number 10? Yeah, number 10 is Mario Batali. Yeah, I got that down he's there. Not, he, I don't think he's done an Iron Man. He has. No, he hasn't. Gordon Ramsay has. Both have. No, Mario Batali is fat and a sexual abuser. Yes. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, he's that. Okay. Oh, then I'm thinking of the wrong guy. You're thinking of the wrong guy. The wrong sexual abuser? I, you're thinking he's of got Joe the long rip. You're thinking of yeah. Joe Bastianich, whose mom is number three. Okay. Yeah, but has but, got the long red hair, back in a ponytail most of the time. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're thinking of um the... uh. Master Chef show where both him and Gordon are on yeah, there yeah. with with what's his face the head. Oh, we call him Gordon, huh? Yeah, yeah he's first Gordon. Name, first name. Yeah, we've eaten at his restaurant. Oh well, in Las Vegas, it was Gordon. all right. Yeah. Keep that as you know. And his concept. So we still need one and six. Yeah. And one, I'll get those both up here. Boy, so we need to come up with two French chef names. One who's really, really dead. And the other one was working. <laughs> no, oh, I, just, yeah. I just read about the guy that went to Howard Johnson's, and I'm trying to think of his name. Throw some hints out there, something that's coming to mind. Like Pepin or something? Pep. Pepite. Yeah, there is a Pepin who was a famous French chef. I don't remember yeah. his first name. Is he still alive? I think so. Yeah. Jacques Pepin. Jacques Pepin. Yeah, Jacques. Happy, Jacques. Happy Le Poo. Yeah, yeah. I think he is still alive, so we could do him. Want to do him for do seven? Him. Yeah. Or is it six? I think it was six. six sorry, six. six. Yeah. yeah. yeah because I, think, I think I was just so shocked that a, that a famous French chef would go to Howard Johnson's, but yeah. What are you saying? Guess you pay somebody enough money. And, yeah, I, I used to eat French toast at Howard Johnson's. Maybe it was his. <laughs> with I, I've fries. never eaten at Howard Johnson's. Yeah, with French That's fries, yeah. A lot here. I don't think they still exist anymore. There is one restaurant left, from what I read somewhere. Where it was one of, one of these clickbait things where they said famous restaurants that aren't around anymore. And they said there was still one Howard Johnson's around somewhere. And you clicked on it. I just remember they had orange oh, yeah. roots. Yeah. A what? 
orange roof, Howard Johnson. The orange, the orange roof. Yeah, yep. You could were always they restaurants see them. or hotels. Well, it was both. They were both. Hojos. Hojo. Is that what you called them? Was Hojo? They were Hojos. Yep. Yep. Okay, so what about your mom sauces? Your mom sauces. <laughs> I like weird. your mom sauces at Hojos. <laughs> Can they get one? Of, no, these are. This is somebody long. Right, so they probably perfected the burp. Julia, Julia, yeah. Julia, Julia just made his stuff better. No, she she was alive past twenty nineteen twenty five. Uh, yeah, Agatha Christie, Hercule no. Poirot. That's it. Agatha Christie is not French. I've I've seen this guy's name mentioned on a lot of these the international cooking shows whenever they go to Paris sure. or whatever. Let's talk about but... microphones. <laughs> let's, let's, why don't we why don't we throw out some French names like um Jacques Charles de Gaulle. Yeah. Charles de Gaulle. <laughs> Macron. Depuis. Macron. 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 I, th I, I think he's still alive. <laughs> I don't know any others. I'm going to start yeah. naming Italian. What an ordeal. Oh, I don't know any French titles. Taco Van Art. <laughs> Chaco Bell. No, there's Taco like, Bell. the name Taco. I'm serious. I'm dead serious. The uh, uh, name uh, Taco. Uh, Taco is a first name in like Belgium. And Taco uh, is the name, is what a pool can There is a professional cyclist. You're playing pool? Taco That's Van a Taco. Art. Right, Romero? His name is Taco. And I don't understand it. He was born on a Tuesday. La Plaque. Yeah, obviously. La Plaque. Yeah. La Plaque. Taco Tuesday. Napoleon. Yeah. Napoleon. I La have Plaque. my I have my guess up there. Who do you guess? Chang is not. <laughs> they have Chang is not a person. No, I yeah. didn't, I was never sure if it was actually a real person, but no. What if we go with La Plaque? Like, who? Like, mise en place. like mise en place. Do you even know what that means? That's his name. Yeah, everything in its place. That's the guy. <laughs> Susan doesn't know anything we're talking about. It's just all French to me. But it's an actual term when you yeah. want to be mise en place. I'll have all your, all your foods oh, in oh, place oh, and oh. pre-cut and ready to go. Do we need to do we need to tell about Dr. Boudreau? You guys didn't understand me. I said it's all French to me. Yes. You don't get it? Uh, yeah, well, we 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 Dr. Boudreau. I don't know. I might be going to France next year because they're gonna have the world, I mean the um European Skeptic Congress is gonna be held in France. I'll be there next week. Oh, what will you? It? Well, then you... Are will. we really going to go with mise en place and just not like come up with... <laughs> I, Thank I, you, I, save I, us! Put the, put we need to come up with a morning. French name beside mise en place. You're muted, Peggy. Get us out of this. Jacques Cousteau. Thank you. <laughs> Is Jacques oh, Cousteau any better? I like mise en place if we're going to go with Jacques Cousteau. Missing in place? Is that what it means? <laughs> no. Mise en place. Everything in, in its place. place. All pre prepared, ready to go. You are frustrating us, Suzanne. You need to learn how to cook. Yeah, you look. <laughs> you watch any of the KFC cooking shows. They have the little cat food. They have all little ramekins pre-cut with they all of their stuff. They tried to put PF Chang in that in, in number one, Peggy. Yeah, I had PF Why? Chang before I went PF with Chang. Mise en Place. Rene Descartes. Rene Descartes. Oh, you want to go with Rene Descartes? Okay. Rene. Rene Descartes. Rene Descartes. No, you do not know how to say you got to come you got to sound like you're a that's, not, that's a philosopher. His middle name was, was Allah. Say, why don't what yeah, put down Voltaire. I mean if you're gonna go. <laughs> Voltaire, <laughs> Voltaire hair. We could yeah. put down like uh what's his face from the doors? He's buried there. We could put Chopin down. There's all people that are buried in the cemetery. Mozart. Is he French? <laughs> we, 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 we could we could we could make him French by doing that. There is George. I said Rene a la Descartes. No, you have to put an accent de gras. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I've Maybe. got my keyboard ready for that. Descartes. <laughs> more wine. We need more wine. 
Morvine. 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 <laughs> I you, tanked you, another team, though. You, oh, you didn't tank us. Good. So that's good to know. Good. Leonard, Leonard's team got skunked. Ah, got he doesn't know his food. But huh? maybe Leonard needs to watch his team. Maybe needs to watch a little bit of the. Group. I like when the categories uh, are varied, so that it is not always easy. For yeah, people. and I, and I, as I said to them, you look, Susan wanted lower scores. I you should do very very perfect bake. I wouldn't have known a damn thing on this. The return of lighthouses. Uh, <laughs> Combined with Punch and Judy. Punch and Judy in the lighthouse. We can't that, have that got space. me mad and hungry. We are very sorry that you have not yeah. watched. I, I wrote down lighthouse for an answer in every single one we didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so now you know how a lot of other famous. people feel. Famous. Define famous. Sharon, I'm sorry. Nice graphic, though. She Peggy does okay. the best PowerPoints. I'm just going to start sending all my PowerPoints to her. The famous. I think oh. they were mostly famous for me. Okay, number one is Auguste Escoffier. <laughs> Somebody got famous. this. You, you, will, you will not accept Rene Descartes or P.F. Chang. <laughs> P.F. Chang is definitely Chang. not right. Yay, I Jamie! Escoffier <laughs> or, I'll or make for nothing three. else. Is that number mass two. cuisine or his mother's cuisine? Oh, we got this. Oh, right. oh Delmonico. Delmonico. We got it. Last second. <laughs> and I think that building is still there with that name on it. Um, yeah. They were huge in, in restaurant. And even in history, they used to be named in all the old westerns and stuff. Everybody was going off to Delmonico's for dinner. Right, right. Marcella Hazan. Ooh, the no. goddess yeah. of Boy, did we misspell that one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And Boy, we didn't get any letters right. right. Daffy Duck fans, I, I want to make a Hazan Chop joke. Um, Alex, what? Am I waiting for the joke or was that I'm the joke? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you don't know it, you don't get it. Sure. Yeah, Please. I don't get it. Number four is Alice Waters. I've eaten there. Number five Bobby is Bobby That's Flay. But oh, where's his cat? Uh, I'm sorry, I couldn't uh, find a good uh, picture of him. Behind him. Tender cat. Standing behind Nacho, him. isn't it Nacho? Yes, and it's like I, I think so. He's a I great see. big cat. Jacques Pepin. Um, that's the guy. My personal favorite mm -hmm. of all of these to watch and to listen to. He's so charming. That's and a guy. Couldn't think of his name. Too. He threw Number up on seven that cake. is Mary Berry. With some mutant cake here in this picture. I don't it's know where that came It's bag. as big it's as perfect bag. bag. It's Mary Berry's perfect bag. It's as big <laughs> as Bobby Flay's cat. Number eight is Thomas Keller, who has restaurants on both shores, but on both coasts. But um, and number ten is Mario Vitali. Uh, we're up nine. What about what about Ina for number nine? There is nine. Oh, Ina Garten. Yeah, yeah. I, she disappeared from this version of the PowerPoint. Sorry. Yeah, nine. Was her name? Ina, Ina Garten. I n a g a r t e n. And I would has... also accept Barefoot Contessa for her because she's largely known by that. And her husband's name is Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Does she really go barefoot? No, not her. It's just she she took on the name of what used to be her store that she bought that already had that name. He's the giraffe at Toys R Us. <laughs> no, he's not. You guys are weird. That's Joffrey. That's oh. Joffrey. That's right. So apologies to the teams that didn't have any foodies on them, but um some people did good. My team was okay. Thank you, team. <laughs> that's all that matters. Her team did well. Okay. Pretty that's much the point. most important thing. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I'm going to show you guys this real quick. Paula sent me this. This is where she's at. The little snot. Look at her. Hollywood Bowl. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She's I've seen Hollywood that before. Bowl. And then here's what it looks like right now. Ah, oh, nice. She could be here learning about her chefs, but no. She's off looking at people making music. I know Alan's drooling right now. He's a little bit of drool right here, Alan. Just... You played the, the Holly Bowl, didn't you, Alan? He's he's frozen in place. He's oh, muted. What's that? What's that? D didn't you play the Hollywood Bowl once upon a time? No. 
Oh, okay. All right. So let's see how we did, because I think this is going to finally fix these scores that are just too good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're going to get some spread. I gave you some, I gave you a windy, so this should help on you guys. Oh, it was no help at all. But there was foodies on my team. What did he get? Nine. Wow. What do you mean nine? Mean nine? We got 10. We got 10. Oh, okay. My mistake. Uh, you uh, uh, okay. You might have just won the night with that round. Yeah. Okay. Forget Florida. Joy Z's a backup plan. We got one. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That would be my score. No, my score would be one. Got zero if I'm by myself. Kyle, which one? Alice, Alice Waters. Waters. They put Alice Waters for each one. <laughs> no, we put just, John just... Waters for a few, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jesus, Jesus Murphy, sorry about drinking the skookum screech while we were wearing Dukes, eh? Eight. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Another eight. Wow. North Korea That's named great. US soldier for its first experimental manned space flight. Who? <laughs> Ouch. That's great. I love, it. I love it. That's wonderful. Yep. That that Carl, that Carl you're finding out you're finding out how the other half lives now. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be watching all the baking shows after this and memorizing. We've them. identified his weakness. That, yeah. that will not we need NASCAR it. where baking shows. That's but why. he'll be he'll yeah. be on it next time. He's not gonna let this happen to him again. <laughs> him and Leonard are gonna just start doing Zoom calls with <laughs> trading off names of would not be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay, so now it's Gail's turn. Yay! Oh, but before we get to Gail, I just want to double check and see if anybody has has looked deep into their conscience to figure out that they have a category within them. I see Karen's hand up. Aha, uh -huh, Karen. Is it there any more people with the name out. with the K? Anybody else's name begin with a K? I have Carl, Karen, and Kyle, and Kevin, <laughs> and Kevin. All right, Kevin, and I need a bonus. Who's the other K? Nobody. Who's our special K? Well, I could swap places with Carl since we Jamie, swap. I could I could do the bonus. We could I use Jamie bonus. Knapp. <laughs> <laughs> I'd volunteer for the next two weeks, but darn, I'm not gonna be around. Uh you can do a remote in. So put me down for the bonus, Susan. Okay. I'm going to put. You're going to have to change your name Cobb, to Crob. Cobb Next Palmer. Crob. Yeah, Crob. Cobb. Crob. Cobb. Crob. Cobb Palmer. Well, I had to step up because we couldn't have 3K names. No, we can't. <laughs> it just can't possibly be. Okay, thank you, Cobb. Co okay. Oh, I'm going to be a mess. All right. <laughs> so, what, what do you think Gail has in store for us with her little devious plans? Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Our topic is famous political pets. And I was going to call them presidential pets, but you will notice a couple of them are not Americans, but they were heads of state in their countries. I'll do better than I did. I promise I'll do better than I did with the chefs. <laughs> I might know two of these. <laughs> well, we'll see. Okay. So are we ready? Do yeah. we want to mute people or? No, we're going to be good. Okay, here we go. Rough. Question one. Allo yeah. was a black Scottish terrier who lived in the White House with what US president? Number two. Canadian Prime Minister Mackenzie King had three dogs, all named Pat. He is said to have consulted his first Pat on political matters. What breed were all the Pats? Were they sleeping dogs? 
sleeping dog? No, uh, never mind. Were, was it a sleeping dog that someone let lie? That's right. Thank you very much. Someone okay. that Thank you. <laughs> Number three. Fox was a black and white cat who shared the White House with a dog named Buddy. What U.S. president was also there? Question four. Winston Churchill sometimes brought his beloved, beloved dog, I not believe dog, his beloved dog Rufus, with him when he went to Buckingham Palace. Although there is a persistent belief that Rufus was a bulldog, he was not, because he looks like a bulldog, right? What breed was Rufus? They say dogs look like their owners. Well, this is not necessarily a case where that happened. It was, I, that's a hint, because otherwise people would have written uh, bulldog, I'm sure. And it's not true. Okay, number five. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has a dog named Kenzie. He shares his fondness for Kenzie's breed with Barack Obama, who had two of them, Bo and Sonny. What is this breed? Okay, number six. One of our earlier American presidents had several horses and a gray parrot who learned to swear. Polly attended his funeral, but had to be removed because of the loud and persistent profanity. Who was this president? Hey, Kyle, you got to be careful what you say in front of yours. We're going to have we're going to have his uh, his parrot here on the show or right here. In place of Kyle in the future, we'll just ask questions. Number seven. Yoshi? No. Sushi. Trump? Yoshi. 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 Trump is not the only president who did not have any pets in the White House. There actually were two others. But there was a 19th century president who had no official pets, but he was said to feed mice that he found in his bedroom. <laughs> Is that before he ate them? No, he didn't eat them. His daughter apparently kept trying to kill them, which is why people didn't know about it. But uh, he was very fond of them. This was number seven? No, this was number, that was number seven. Number eight, the American president was known as an animal lover. Over his lifetime, he had an enormous list of pets that included dogs, horses, lizards, guinea pigs, rabbits, a pig, a badger, a rat, a black bear, a barn owl, and one a one-legged rooster and a lion. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who was he? What? Number nine. What president kept a herd of sheep on the White House lawn? Yeah. And number 10. I actually couldn't decide between two questions, so I'm going to give you a choice. It's the same theme, but answer either of them. Oh, yay. Good. Okay. First, what president had a pet raccoon named Rebecca? She was given to him for dinner, but his wife loved her and saved her life as she became a famous pet. Or, which president started the tradition of pardoning, pardoning a turkey on Thanksgiving when he was given one for dinner and his son made it a pet? Oh. So, either one. <laughs> okay. Any questions? A raccoon? A haven't, raccoon we, haven't we had that question before? Yes, we have. <laughs> <laughs> and I still don't know Susan, it. you missed your chance. You had dinner walking right into your kitchen and you just left them out. <laughs> How do you know they made it out safely? Mm. Come and have Did dinner. Did you name any of them? <laughs> That's true. Only Caspian would know. I know two. 
and I could guess on a few. I don't think I've ever heard of people eating raccoons. Oh, I've got a cookbook in here. You got squirrel, <laughs> raccoon, anything you want. Well, I've I've seen other things my that mom, are weird. My mom's cookbook, so trust me. Uh, okay. Road, oh, they ate everything. <laughs> roadkill. Well, they didn't have. They didn't call it roadkill. You'd have to look up what kind. Of <laughs> they were going to tell you where they found it. <laughs> you know, anyway, Rebecca all... belonged to Calvin Coolidge. The which one did Rebecca? Raccoon. So let's see. Oh, do, do, do number number what? ten. Number ten. Oh, it's number ten. One of the number tens. Six, I think, is Teddy Roosevelt. Pardoning turkeys. No, the one oh, had the six. Six had the no, parent had to swear. Four. <laughs> no, that was Jackson. Oh, was it? Six was Jackson. Yeah. So then, so I bet you Teddy Roosevelt's the one that had a ton of animals, or was that Lincoln? Okay, so we all know three is Clinton, right? Yeah, Caspian and I saw a Buddy. We were the, they were out playing the Secret Service was playing ball with him, and people Aww. were taking pictures of like celebrity. Okay, Bo Obama, and therefore probably. Uh... Kenzie or Portuguese water dogs. Oh, is that uh, what? Oh, they're really cute. Because, because they're uh, hypoallergenic. They look sort of like poodles, but they're not. <laughs> so, so somebody had an allergy. Yeah, one of one of the girls had an allergy. Number one is FDR. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, so oh, four. that makes sense. Wasn't he? Wasn't the the Scotty dog? Wasn't it like um? Yeah, it was a Scotty. Uh, no, but wasn't it like something? It was used as a, I don't know, like a logo or something or something that with FD. I'm trying to remember. It seemed like it was popular. Maybe black Scottish terriers were popular during FDR. Probably. Um, um, what do you think Winston Churchill's dog was? That's like a bulldog? We yeah. Do, you know. do you know your dogs that look like a bulldog that aren't bulldogs? There is another name for them. So they have a pug nose. Could, they yeah, be they pugs? Have... Could it be a pug? A pug? No, they're, but mm -hmm. bulldogs are a lot bigger than pugs. Oh. Um, it was a poodle. I don't, I don't know enough about dogs. Poodle. It was a poodle. No, it's not. It's not a poodle. Yes, I thought it was a bulldog. No, it, you can't mistake a poodle for a bulldog. They. It was Churchill who looked like a bulldog. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think they looked a lot alike. But Rufus was a was a poodle. Rufus was a poodle. All right. Okay. I was gonna say maybe it was a Staffordshire Terrier, but okay. So Pat's what breed would be three dogs that he named them Pat? They're all named Pat. That must be confusing. Well, only if he had them all at the same time. Uh, that's true. Okay, so like a Dotson or a Chihuahua or which? What number is it? That's um two. All way up there. A wiener dog? A wiener dog. That he was his first pat on political matters. Corgi? I mean, what, what kind of dog would give good advice on political matters? What breed? <laughs> what breed can you see as a diplomat? Mm. What is the diplomatic breed? Dal Dalmatians? Hardly. No, they're not diplomatic at all. No. They they don't even pay any attention to you if they can get away with it. They're crazy. Mm -hmm. How about a um? That would be a good dog for Trump. A Dalmatian. <laughs> no dog deserves to be with Trump. No. No. Um, um. Okay. What is a dog that seems like it'd be diplomatic? It would be a bloodhound. 
No, oh, it's some uh, kind no. of terrier, I think. Yeah, I'm thinking that too. Um, uh, it's an Irish terrier, maybe. Or a, or a, what's those? A Schnauzer? <laughs> they wouldn't. He wouldn't have a German dog. Mindy, you can make it. I'm trying. I'm very trying. She's tired, <laughs> poor <Sleepy. girl. laughs> Oh, at least you sleep. <laughs> okay, who fed rats? Who fed mice? Mice. mice. And it's not mice. Trump. <laughs> Trump would charge him rent. <laughs> <laughs> find right, a way huh? of making it pay. <clears throat> He'd sue the he would sue the White House for having mice in there. There you go. There you go. Get out of my gold toilet, you little mice. <laughs> uh, well, I'm thinking the herd of sheep, would that have been Jefferson? It was one of those I, very know, early I feel presidents. like I know this one. Before, yeah, we've had this before. I think it's somebody from Ohio. When was the White House built? Maybe Adams or... No, I or, think it was later, like... Um, Maybe, yeah. Well, it has to be later. It's not many before. Um, I'm thinking it is... How about Johnson? Andrew, that is. Andrew Johnson? With the it sheep? Like it feels like it's somebody later who was from Ohio. And it was... No, I don't know. It feels like I've heard this before. Yeah, we have. We've had this... This, have we had uh, this question? Yeah, we have. I like to go to presidential homes. I love going to historical homes that are presidents' libraries and presidential homes. And I went and did a whole bunch in Ohio once. And I feel like one of them had, but there's been a lot of presidents from Ohio. So I feel like one of them, I remember this question about the sheep. Um, Grover Cleveland or, um, and I don't even remember which ones are from from um from ohio anymore because they were just kind of <laughs> marginal mckinley i think was there <laughs> okay are we putting on number eight are we putting teddy roosevelt because i think he was a huge animal person oh yeah. what do you guys think did he have a bear was there a bear i, I could see him having a bear and wrestling it He's yeah, I could dog. totally see him having a bear. <laughs> yeah, he rescued the, the bear cub from somebody who was going to shoot it. Okay, so Did that he? makes sense. And he probably wrestled a, a, a yeah. one-legged rooster, too. And he rode he horses. Definitely, yeah, he, rode yeah horses. he definitely had horses. Yeah, I think that's a good... good. Okay, who fed the mice? Cinderella, Cinderella! <laughs> or probably one of the ones that wasn't married. Oh, yeah, for There's real. only one who wasn't married. Who was that? I was. Uh, what's the name? Starts with a B. Um, Buchanan. Buchanan, yeah. Oh well, that's a good one. Yeah, let's make him that. Okay, I mean, can you imagine anybody's I, I, wife letting them have pet mice? Well, <laughs> I I was thinking it was somebody. Who had problems being president, mm. and that uh, which brought mm. Andrew Johnson to mind. Oh, okay. Who? Andrew Johnson. His wife oh. did die. He was a oh. widow. Okay, let's do him. Which which number are we on? Seven. Seven. Oh, seven. So with the only one we need is nine. Cannon? Buchanan. I think we we're put, going with Johnson. Oh, we, we took out Buchanan. We went with Andrew Johnson. Okay, number nine, who had a herd of sheep? I've heard of sheep. Have you heard of sheep? <laughs> <laughs> oh, have you? Uh, uh, oh, have you? Have you? 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 E W E? E W E? Woodrow uh, Wilson? Woodrow Wilson. Who's the guy? That's who fairly. Him? That was like nineteen nine or something like that. Nineteen fourteen through nineteen fourteen. 
Do you think there was still room for sheep then? Oh, yeah. Who's the guy who did <laughs> On the was White House lawn? The White House lawn is huge. But is it carefully fenced? <laughs> well, they had border collies. Hey, oh, did they? <laughs> I'm closing the rooms. You can close I, them. Okay. So what are we putting for that one? I guess Wilson. Wood, good old Woodrow. Woody. That's why. <laughs> that's why he's, yeah. Do we do have one for two? What is the, what is the answer for number 10? 10 the, is Calvin Coleridge. Calvin Coleridge? Yeah, and two we didn't put anything. What are the pats? You said a terrier? What was it, like an Irish terrier? That sounds good. Irish terrier, all right. Mm -hmm. All right. It's a good category, Gail. Yeah. yeah. It's better than the chefs for sure. I have a feeling from what I'm seeing that this is going to be one of those that increases the spread. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes me happy. At least if they're saying what they're I saying. I like so. things that they don't like. Oh, well, okay. It's the same kind of stuff we do all the time. So what breed was 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 Church was Churchill's dog? Uh, a poodle. 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 poodle? Yeah, has got a smile. She's got a smile. She's she she gave it away. It's not a poodle. What? Yeah, it was, was like this. We, we decided the poodle. She went. It was my smiles don't mean a thing. I'm poker face. No, I, I, play, I don't that. play poker. I've been I've been doing a lot of psychic watching, reading, watching videos, and I I saw that she went. <laughs> Do you know where the tells are, huh, Susan? Yeah, she did. She went, uh, but you don't know what they're telling. It tells me <laughs> not a poodle, but we were trying to see. So so we figured out that um, what was the one? Uh, Number nine, the president kept a herd of sheep. We were like, have you heard of sheep? And then Jane says, you? I thought it was hilarious. That went by fast. Because we were fast. So are you ready for the answers? Yes, ma'am. Yep. Okay. Poodle on everything. We put poodle on everything. Poodle. Even the names of the of the presidents. Poodle. Well, the oh, president you. poodle. <laughs> Those of you who know, I try to put things in that you, give you clues, and some of you figured that out. Here we go. I'll put them up. I'll put the answers up on the screen, and then afterwards, I'll put it all the list in the chat. Okay. Okay. Can you all see my screen? Yep. Okay. Yep. Number Yay! one. After no, right. <laughs> hmm. Oh, look at that doggy. <laughs> I know at least one thing got that. I, I wasn't even sure that was a real breed. Oh, oh, yeah. Is Scottish yeah. terrier. Is Scottish terrier the same as an Irish terrier? No. no. <laughs> don't don't ever say that. Terriers are red. Did, didn't we say Irish setter? Not Irish. No, we said no. We said terrier. We did say terrier. Okay. Okay. We did say setter. Okay, so we were wrong then. Yeah. Uh, where's Betty? Hey, hey. Huh? Little known, I'm little known playing. fact: Caspian and I saw Buddy. Oh, we saw him live. He was being oh, they were, wow. the Secret Service was throwing the ball to hey. him while we we're waiting in line to go into the White House. Who boots? No, Buddy. <laughs> that is socks. Baba, that's Baba. That's socks oh, right there. Socks. That's socks. Hey, socks. That's socks. socks. Baba's socks. on the left. Socks is on Shoes. the right. Shoes. I don't know. Number four. And Ooh. I know one team oh, got it, but didn't talk it out of them. He, his dog was a poodle. Yep. Oh, that's about as awesome a bulldog as you can get. Doesn't right? look anything like that. What, what How do you mistake hell? that for a bulldog? What the hell? Yeah. Uh, it's I think Gershaw that looks on, like on the bulldog. On the picture on the right, they thought the figure on the left was the bulldog. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's that's because uh, 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 he looks like a bulldog. It, it's a long haired uh, bulldog. What the hell? It was a poodle. It's got a wig. The joke the was, was that he was the, the bulldog. Yeah. Water dog. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Look at that sweet he dog. He did have a bulldog named Dodo. <laughs> and it was a gift from Teddy Kennedy, right? Mm -hmm. 
Oh, we have a good girl. What was five? Excellent. And this one, the part of the giveaway, of course, was that the dog, the, the parrot, had learned all kinds of bad language. And if you <laughs> know about Andrew Jackson, you wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Apparently, he loudly cursed throughout the funeral, and they had to take him away. I love it. <laughs> hey, Gail, can you show me five again? I missed it. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Very cute. Okay, number seven is Andrew Johnson. Mm -hmm. All right. He was, he was oh, going nice. to be uh, uh, oh. impeached, and the trial was going on, and he comforted himself by making friends with the mm -hmm. Was he married at the time? No, it was his, his um, I don't know if he was married, but she was, I think he was married, but they were not, she was very ill. And his daughter mm. was acting, or niece was acting as his hostess, and she kept wanting to kill the to kill the mice, and he kept hiding from it. And in this picture, because there isn't a picture of him with the mice, obviously, this is from the museum, the Pre American Presidential Museum. They use that to represent his mice. Mm. That's the sign on there. Did he keep the mice out of the impeachment? That's quite, nice a, that's quite a mouse hole. You know, you know, nice arches like that. Perfectly smooth. You visited yeah. his birthplace, the little one room shack. Oh, yeah, he yeah. Took you there. That looks like that looks like he also made the mouse hole for the mice. Yeah. <laughs> this was this is just a representation. Of how, how large did he expect a mouse to get? My God. It's a fashion. <laughs> yeah. Well, the mice. A presidential mouse. That's he, he was, was feeding it. So. These are the mice and the hitchhikers, don't forget. So yeah, that's true. Well, it the architect did it in inches and the carpenter did it in centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been a mouse standing on the top of another mouse on top of another mouse. Mm. Green coat. Maybe Number the mice eight. would watch a lot of Tom and Jerry. Yeah. And I have I have a graph I will show you yep. later. Number eight, so many animals, Teddy Roosevelt. Mm -hmm. Look at that rooster. And that is an actual picture of the rooster, the one-legged rooster he had. And that is his son with his, one of his birds. Number nine. Hey, was, there was more awesome. going on. So hey. he had the, this was a political statement to have the White House uh, have, a, have the sheep. They kept the lawn under control and provided wool. And it was his effort to, to make a war effort. Oh, what a good idea. Wow. We need sheep now. <laughs> to save, save gas. That's your new hat. We need sheep mm -hmm. now. <laughs> and number 10, many of you remembered it was Galvin Coolidge who had Rebecca. Oh. Um, or it was Lincoln. Um, oh, the, the it, part wow, of the turkey. Wow, Leonard, oh. you were right. Romero yeah. was right, too. Yeah. So he didn't have a son in the White House, or it didn't have to be living in the White House. Mm. Okay, and I put this. I put this in. If anybody wants the link, I'll put it in the chat. This is a chart that you, you can't probably see because it's too small, but it's every one of the presidents and whether they had dogs, cats, or other animals. And this is very good to show you. This is this is how many they had, and you can see most of them only had a couple or two. And that line is Teddy Roosevelt. <laughs> <laughs> so most by a by a, by a mile. <laughs> I feel like they should have kept a category for horses instead of just lumping them in with other. Seriously, they them in with others. And there were a lot of horses, especially back when. Well, well Trump had Melania. <laughs> well, <then. laughs> no, you're talking about Eric. <laughs> Eric had Melania. No, <laughs> Eric is a horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so I will put the I'll put the list of answers in the chat, and I'll put the link to this chart for anybody who would like to see it. That's, that's cool. that was a really good category. I yeah, like that. Category. All right, so I didn't hear any groans, but then I wasn't listening. So here we go. All right, let's go with the losing team. Which is this one, Joyzy? What do we got? We got three. Wow, oh, you tripled your score. <laughs> That's great. Okay, North Korea names you a soldier for its first experimental manned space flight. Nine. Ooh. Nine. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Uh, Ese joda, Tejas. Seven. That's respectable. All right, Jesus Murphy. Hey, Seuss Murphy. Six. Mm -mm -mm, not enough. And the team that I was on, I was on this, right? Yeah. Dun, da, da, dun. Yes. Huh? Yes. Ten. Oh. What's the ace? Yes, it's Spanish. Yes. Espanol. Oh, I, oh, Espanol. Diaz. Look at that. Well, no Plus that was uno. the team I was on. I just want you guys to know that on the record, I was on that team. Oops. Wow, I Susan. I wanted everybody in the world to know. I'm going to put up a, a, a plane that flies over everybody's house and it's going to have a little thing that flies out of it. I was on that team. And you noticed that when you thought I was smiling because I thought you were wrong, I was. I, you caught my smile. It was probably because I knew you were right. Yep. <laughs> okay, here's that. I was worried that you were going to change the answer when you thought I was smiling. Whoa. What was that? <laughs> Something from Lee. Somebody shouting. Maybe a llama. One of the llamas is in the house. Lee, you Bomber have somebody shouting at you too? Where's Lee? He's back. Oh, he's, he's back. behind the he's behind the chat thing that was on the screen. Lee, you got somebody shouting at you? I'm sorry, what? Somebody shouting at you? No, my I was shouting at the dog. I think a coyote or something is walking around the property and the dogs are just going nuts. Uh. And your dog is called Lee. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it said Lee. Oh, I thought you said Lee. No, I just. No, we thought. I thought that somebody yelled Lee. No, this is this is Willow who's been barking her. You know what off? Well, why would you yell Lee? I didn't yell. Oh, I yelled, yelled Willow yelled. really loud. Oh, this is the worst oh, Abbott okay. and Costello routine ever. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, who's on first? <laughs> okay, whose turn is it now? Who's doing the bonus? Is it Carl or Kyle? Uh, it's me. Okay, just checking. Oh, okay, I'm... Kyle. Yeah. <laughs> Beat oh, me to Kyle. it, Leonard. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys confuse me so much. Okay. You're up. All right. Oh. That wasn't the bonus. So, so to give you a, a short background here. Oh. There's so the many background. There's so many bonus rounds that I haven't been able to do because the there are things that are like only lists of seven or eight. And I had a bonus, something I wanted to do as a bonus round, but there's only eight things in the list. So I had to come up with a twist for it. And so my category is mint twist. And what the bonus is, name the US cities that have or had a US mint and the cities hey. that currently have a Canadian mint. Oh no. Ah. There are 10 possible answers. There are no extras. Oh, well, that is different. So, Yay. there we go. All right. And there we go. Bye. All right, so I go to five. Someone making a list? I have no idea. Here? Check it twice and then see where. Okay. Um, Carl knows Kevin all these. these. I bet Carl would be a help. Yeah, I know. I know most, most of these. them. Yep. Oh, you uh, know what? Carson's, yeah, Carson City, uh, New Orleans. Wait, wait. Carson City. What happened to Carson Kevin? City, New Orleans? Who who are we missing? Uh, Denver. Oh, I knew Denver. San Francisco. Philadelphia. How many how many is that so far? Five. Five. I don't know the Canadian ones. Let's see who else is in the U.S. Hmm. New Orleans, Carson City. Oh, we're missing Kevin. Wait, where's Kevin? Yeah, where's Kevin? Uh, let's see, who else? Let's see who else? 
I thought that, that was in the States. In, um, he must be gone. Oh, it says not joined, so he probably left. He's probably asleep. <laughs> I'm going to go look. At, oh, here he comes. Um, let's see. Um, Kevin, where where'd you been? Philadelphia. Yeah, we got those. The, the ones in Canada, they, they make... Kevin, other, wake up, Kevin. <laughs> a big mint in Canada now. About um, How about Boston? No, there was no mint in Boston. Well... It's it's it depends what you mean because back Philadelphia, in, Denver, and San Francisco. We got are the current. Yeah, we got all the uh, West Carson Point. City. There's a West Point one. West Point. The thing is, like West Point. Yeah. Yes, West Point. That's a good answer. Yep. Yeah. See Boston. Um, See there's the an first. O. There's an O for. I yeah, we said o. New Orleans. Yeah, we mm, said New Orleans and Carson City. Carson City. Yep. CC. Yeah, New Orleans we got. See, Boston, the thing is, you know, when There's coins were first Reserve made. Bank in Boston. Not a, not well, a, not a knit mint. Federal how about Reserve Bank. Park? Well, the thing is, is that the, um, like, the oak tree shillings, okay, the original oak tree shillings, the pine tree shillings, were made in Boston. So, that's, you know, that's, uh, would you consider yeah. American mint? That's Have before, yeah, but that's before the U.S. mint was established by Jefferson. So I don't know if you would consider that. Currently have a Canadian mint. Oh my God. Where's the Canadian mints? Um Montreal. Edmonton? Where? Montreal. Maybe. Ottawa. Ottawa. Is it supposed to be five of each or what is it? Oh, I don't for? know. I think maybe Ottawa. Right now the Canadian mint makes coins for Thailand. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Yeah. In fact, they have the uh, they have a patent on making. We use um, steel. They're nickel coated steel, and they have the patent on it. So the Canadians make money for us. I think it's. I think maybe it is Ottawa. Yeah, I don't. I think. But, that's and you think the other one might be Edmonton? I I just read something. Wonder who makes these? They're blanks. They make the blanks. Um, how, how many we got now? Somebody listening. Yeah, we've this got time? six American. We need two more. What do you got for American? Carson. Now we have seven total. Carson City, New Orleans, Denver, Denver, San Francisco, Philadelphia, Philly. West Point. Then we have Ottawa for Canada. And Ottawa for Canada. So I, we need two more Americans and one more Canadian for sure. Unless you want to go with Edmonton. There's an O, but it's not New Orleans. There's an O. It's Oklahoma City or something like that. There was an O. I think New Orleans was O. Was it? Yeah, I think I know so. It was an O. I could have sworn there was something out west, but it was Oklahoma City or something. Um, Orleans, uh, uh, Orlando. No. Yeah, I thought. Oh, yeah, it was New Orleans. Um. So I mean, there were mints. It's, I don't know. Again, Boston. I mean, Massachusetts created its own own coins before the actually U.S. mint was established. In like 1807 or something, 1804. There one in Texas, Austin, Dallas. I remember Fort them. Worth. Fort Worth, Texas, Alamo. Where's where's that place that has all the gold bars? Isn't That's, that uh, in Texas? Denver? Isn't it Fort Knox? Uh, That's Denver. Fort Knox. For oh yeah, Fort Knox. That's what I'm thinking about. See, most of the coins um, during the gold rush era, that's when a lot of the mints opened up. Um, but I, I'm assuming he's, he only thinks that after 1804. Let's see. We said Carson City. There we said Carson City. 
but but um, I just wonder if Boston would be considered a men. I mean, that was like there, there was there was, was CC for for Carson, Carson City. City, right? There's also a C. There's, there's a single C? Just a C. There was a single C. Charlotte, I think it was Charlotte. Oh, maybe Charlotte. That's a possibility. Charlotte, North and there Carolina. And was, there, was, there was a D for Denver, and there was a it's D Denver. for something else, but I don't know what it was called. There was another D, but I don't know what it was called. I don't know the city. Dallas? No. I don't think it was Dallas. And there's P for Philadelphia, which didn't exist, and then they made it. Like, a long time, they didn't use the P. It was just assumed it without one, it's Philadelphia. Yeah, except for the you know, the wartime nickels had P. Yeah, that's right. That's right. In the wartime, the forties, they put the P over the over the, the over dome. the uh, dome of the uh, yeah. Nick Mont Monticello. I wonder if Charlotte. That's a possibility. Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte's Charlotte. one. Yeah, put down Charlotte. So that's good. that one that the last one. Do you think it's a D? There's a D. Oh, there's a D for Denver. There's a D for something else, but I don't know what it is. Why would they have two with the same D? I don't know, but there's a there's a there's a D, like a DX or something oh. makes sense. With the category, did they say how many American and how many Canadian? Did yeah, eight no. American, two Canadian. Oh, he did. Oh, so we need one more American. Mm -hmm. One more Canadian. Did we choose the second Canadian? Would they be no, like far and distance away from each other for a reason? Yeah, like Ottawa, 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 and what Ottawa else? I thought it was Edmonton, but I, I might be wrong. Put them both down. We need two. Hmm. Are they far away from each other in distance? I don't know. Ottawa for sure. Yeah, Ottawa is where the existing mint is. Where um, is Ottawa in Canada? It's over. Is it on the east coast or west coast? It's in the middle. <laughs> Isn't it Ottawa? The north coast. You know, you know, Susan. I know. Living in California, it's hard to understand this, but there are places other than coast. <laughs> well, it's the is, north coast. Is it? North I don't live in the mid shore. It's the north shore. It's the middle. That I can understand that. Yeah, we we say north shore and south shore a lot because that's <clears> what <throat> they call north and south of Boston. Yeah, we we put down West Point, right? W. Yes, West Point is is definitely. Okay. I, yeah, I, we I got West Point. West Point. I have West Point. Back. I have I have a four or five of these. I have an O. I have uh, West Point. The oldest coin I own is a uh, eighteen ninety two O quarter. Hmm. I need one more American. Um, could Fort Worth? That's I wonder if that's a possibility. That's I Texas, never heard of it, but right. What's What's the old West towns? Durango. How about something Durango. in Arizona? No. What's what is it, Tempe? Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix. No, is I, not, I, I thought it began with a D, though. Are you sure Dallas doesn't have one? But Dallas, but I don't think it's right. I know there's a Federal Reserve there well, to get bills from thing. Dallas. I don't remember any coins being you know, minted there. No, I don't think so. But I know there's a Federal Reserve where they get. Hey, the let's think notes. about this. Do you think there's one in Arizona? If there was, it would be Phoenix, but that's a P. Uh, yeah, I, I doubt it. Okay, so mm. how about Springfield? Springfield. Did they ever do them? Oh, they did San Francisco. The men. Did they ever do them in Los Angeles? I don't think so. No, I don't think San so. Francisco. No. Well, there's the okay, there's so the Franklin men, Illinois. but that doesn't count, right? Or, the Franklin or, doesn't um, count. Detroit. That's it a would team. be a very short lived. The mint would be very short lived. What about no. Franklin mint? Does that count? <laughs> no, I can't give a D. Sense. Does that make any sense, Detroit? What was what was the D? No, Detroit. No, it's just Denver. No, well, it'll be said very short. Second D. Yeah, but it ain't Detroit. Where's the Franklin Mint located? Huh? Franklin Mint's probably Philadelphia, but they they make like cups and commemorative plates. They oh, make yeah. plates and stuff like that, like. Plates with pictures of dogs on them, and then they they they. Plain they well, actually, Franklin Mint they make they make foreign currency. Foreign, when, yeah, they do make some coins. A few years. They don't make legal ago. tender, not U.S. stuff. It's mostly collectible 
junk. Guys, <laughs> well, get off of the Franklin Mint stuff and come up with one more American. Well, actually, did, wait, 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 the question was the question said it makes U.S. coins. What was the exact wording of the question? It said in the U.S. cities that have or had a U.S. mint, and the cities that currently have a Canadian mint. U.S. Mint. Well, Franklin Mint. They made coins when Palestine a few years ago. Palestine declared itself independent, and the Franklin Mint made currency for them. They made coins for them. But that's not the so, same as a. How about we use Boston? Because you said Boston used to make it. Boston made coins, but this is before, um, you know, Jeff when Jefferson created the first mint. This is done before, so I think it was in it was okay, in Boston. So, then, so yeah, Boston wouldn't work. You about ready so Boston, for a two minute warning? We ju we're just looking for one thing. So yeah, I guess two minutes. But Boston right. made the first, the first one of the first U.S. coins. Were the was um, it a U.S. mint? Tree, well, it was like pine tree shillings and. It was before the, the officially was mint was created. Money you know, coins were produced in the Boston area and it was used in but Salem and that area. Is it called was it called US Mint? Because these are all US mints, except for the yes, before the Yes, it was during the colonies. So it's, it's before. So no, that's not a US mint. We have this one. Queen of Wiki. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's a Gerbic. <laughs> one Gerbic. I'm all about that. One Gerbic. <laughs> oh, God. What's, what's the exchange rate? Are there 10 Gerbics to a Randy? <laughs> That's about right. Yeah, that'd be about right. Um, we said Charlotte. Um, let's see. Nothing in Florida. No. I'm thinking of the, I'm, I'm gonna think of, of the gold production during the gold rush. These small mints that made coins for a very short period of time. Idaho. Durango? So I thought Dur Durango, Colorado. Put Durango down. Put Durango down. It begins with a D. Hey, is that copper or is that copper or steel? That's a steel one. That is a zinc plated steel, galvanized yeah. steel. Yeah, see, I want a copper one. I did a category once. Name all the countries with holes in the coins. Yep, I remember yeah. that. Man, yeah. we have really done some categories. Holy huh? money. Years. And yeah. then I did a bunch of questions like this. Yep. Which yeah. one's it? Which one is the third, the ninth, the eleventh, the fourth? Which state fit in that? Uh, those fill in the blanks. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. So that's Delaware, Massachusetts. Who was third? Who was mm. ninth? Who was eleventh? I think I can't remember if there was some other order besides entry. Okay, so we got it there. right. Here we go. Time's up. It was. <laughs> I'm worried about you with those stairs. Mm. I'm moving. That's yeah, I know you are, but you still were there. <laughs> yeah, Did you decide I to move? Did yeah, you pick a I place? I, I, um, uh, I um, had submitted an application and they turned me down. They, they didn't want to rent to me. And I wondered why. And I was kind of bummed, but at least, you know, I'm not being at, uh, evicted or anything. I've got plenty of time. And I got a text message and a voicemail from the manager. And he said they changed their minds. And if I was still interested to come over and see him. And so I was picking his brain. I said, what happened? Why didn't they want to rent to me? And, um, and he said, they're real old fashioned people. They wanted to have tenants who have a steady income. And, um, and I guess they, they worried that because my um, um, retirement funds is, is all tied up in investments that the stock market could crash and that um, and that then they would have a tenant that couldn't pay the rent. And, um, and then I was thinking that doesn't make sense if they got, you know, somebody who had a job that they could get fired. They could get fired, right. Yeah. Yeah, the and stock market could crash and their company could implode. There's no reason for them to get that involved in people's business. It's a no. Nah, they just department. didn't want to tell you. They just didn't want to tell you that they've seen these recordings of these. Uh, these <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 we know who your friends are. Yeah, yeah. You know, so you really did, you got the place. You're gonna get it. Yeah. So I I said yeah. I'm still interested. It's got a swimming pool. Oh nice. And, and so and I've never I've always 
I never had lived in a house or an apartment that had a swimming pool. Always it was, I would go swimming at my neighbor's. And so this is a big deal to me. Plus yeah. it's right in the same neighborhood. It's like, it's actually even closer to my daughter's house. Is it one really? And I can have my dog. Is it a one bedroom or two? One bedroom, but it's got this little den room. So I can still have. Um, Deborah and Karen over. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We might be back. So okay. is it on the low, on the, on the lower floor? Yes. Good. Oh, good. good. That's, that's good. So yeah. Paula Serrano, who sometimes plays our game, uh, moved from Argentina to Manhattan. She, today, she just closed on her condo in oh. uh, New York City. Oh, well, good for nice. her. Wow. Wow. Good for her. She works, at the, for her. She works at the UN. She's yes. a translator. Yeah, my daughter is crazy about New York City, but she couldn't do her career there, I don't think. So, so before we go on to the next round, uh, Jane is going to bring up an issue that we had with the last one. Yes, this is a very pressing issue. Um, we have we have one we on the last round we have one more point than we reported. <laughs> we, we think we we were confused when you put up the picture of Reagan with a turkey, and then the answer says Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> So we need to change our score. There aren't any photographs of Lincoln. <laughs> we need to change our score from three <laughs> to four on the last wow. one. And, and, and I'm going to take my apology back that I gave to Leonard because I was right. Oh, dear. <laughs> and I was still dead Lincoln, wrong. Just with a token. Well, thank you for getting the record straight. It just shows that we're a bunch of skeptic people that just cannot let it go. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> we, are <laughs> we are sticklers for the facts. Right. It brought you from 21 <laughs> to 22. And the is person, the next closest is 29. You don't have to rub it in, Susan. You moved from last, <laughs> from last into fifth. I is just Mike want you to know that when I was on your team, you had an eight. Yeah, get, that was why. Get, get Different it. category. Is Mike Wolf still here? No, he left a lot no, of the very. No, that's that's why we did so badly. That's right. Uh, is anybody well, in driving only, distance of New York City for this weekend? I'll be in New York City this weekend. No. Oh, oh driving good. distance is a relative term. Yeah, within three hours. No. I'm I could be the, there in four days. I'm, I, I could be, be there. there if I fly. I'm an hour away. Uh, Ron, I love your cat. Eisenhower, Eisenhower Park on Long Island. This okay, two the hours premier, away. The premier Billy Joel band. That's freaking four hours away. Yeah. Well, we couldn't get in. You're just going to be no, there. No, it's free. It's a park event, big, huge event. Oh. At Harry oh. Chapin uh, Stadium, Lakeside Stadium Ooh. or something. Lee's Pretty big event. Playing. Is your puppy playing, Lee? Well, I'm trying to trying to keep her from barking because the other dog is now barking. So. <laughs> How funny. Okay, I'm ready. All right. Kyle Carl, go ahead. Going in alphabetical order of mint mark for the United States mints. First one is Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Is that give or take a, how many, a certain number of miles? <laughs> <laughs> Plus and the second one is Carson City, Nevada. Oh, gosh, of course. <laughs> for all the silver they found there. Yeah. And gold. Yep. Silver and gold. And then El Nega, oh. Georgia. Is that what it is? So the Georgia and, and Charlotte, North Carolina ones, uh, those are uh, basically responsible for the Cherokee Trail of Tears because we found gold there and we told them, get the Indians, get the hell out of the land that we gave them down there. You got to go somewhere else because we want the gold. That's the D name is, I couldn't is, think is of. That, uh, mm -hmm. Is that close enough I, to Atlanta? I never would have done no. Atlanta account? Nope. Never heard of it. Uh, I knew it was a D, but I didn't know it. Yeah. I, I and was then the next D, D, D is Denver. Yeah. Denver. For Denver, yes. Colorado. I knew those two Ds. D, D was also for Dallanega, Georgia, but they were not overlapping. So they reused yeah. the mint mark when they opened the Denver mint. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, next. New Orleans, Louisiana. New Orleans. That one. Let's say New Orleans. 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 Next, the main branch, Philadelphia. The invisible one. 
is it invisible? Well, the, the mint mark was invisible for years. Yeah, they for a long time, they never used a mint mark for Philadelphia because if it didn't have a mint mark, it was Philadelphia. San Francisco. Got that. Uh -huh. We put SF, is that okay? Oh, San Francisco the Street. The last U.S. West Point. Yeah. 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 Oh, geez. I got my Olympic coins from there. The first Canadian, <laughs> Ottawa. Yay! Yay. Apparently Jane. now, they, in Ottawa, they only make the special collector and stuff coins because all the circulation coins for Canada are in their new high-tech facility in Winnipeg. Oh, Winnipeg. Winnipeg. Oh, oh, that's where, of course. And I would just like to say in researching Canada, I was very, very disappointed to learn that Canada has a whole series of coins dedicated to Canadian UFO sightings. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> in the dark. Entire series of coins depicting famous Canadian UFO Holy sightings. Crap. Well, how does silver glow in the dark? I want those. Phenomena series. <laughs> how does that's, pure silver glow in the dark? They print that's it like overlay on it. Currency. Look at that, one hundred and six dollars. A twenty dollar silver rectangular glow in the dark coin. It and can't be pure silver if it glows in the dark. It looks like this until you shine a, a fluorescent light, a UV light on it. And when you shine a UV light on it, the UFO shows up. Wow. Oh. That's a whole yeah, it works that way in real life, too. If you shine a UV light, you will find a UFO. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I have a question. Uh -oh. yeah, I just looked this up, and it says there was also, for a brief period, a U.S. mint facility in Manila, the Philippines. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, of course. I know. Yeah, this was uh -oh. the How US. How do you answer yeah. that, Mr. K? <laughs> what was Did anybody name? put Manila? Yeah. I I mean, we didn't. <laughs> I only just found this Why out. Are you asking? Hmm. But I'm it, curious. It, whether... Nobody put that that I don't have to worry about deciding whether or not that represents yeah. an answer. <laughs> now, what but had I known thing? that, I would have argued about it. So mm. <laughs> uh, well, Carl, you did say name the US cities. You didn't say yeah. name the US I did say yeah. US cities. Yeah. So that's well, where is the Franklin men? Thank, thank you, Madam Attorney. Well, wasn't <laughs> well, you weren't the Philippines part of the US at the time? Yes. And also, money point says, of order, West yes. Point is not a US city. And I believe it's unincorporated. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's but it's my called boy. West Point no. Midmark. <laughs> Caspian should have been an attorney. I agree. We're not going to take away our West Point point. Sorry, Jamie. <laughs> no. no, neither are, are we. the only place things are minted at have a D on them? Because all my coins have Ds on them. Most of your well, coins most of the ones are minted in do. Denver because San Francisco does not mint circulation coinage. Your, your coins are just trading poorly. Oh, Most of yeah. ours are from Pennsylvania. We're looking through ours right now. Ours We've are all D's. Yeah. Mine are all D's. It's not Pennsylvania. It's Philadelphia. <laughs> you know it. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a, um, a dollar coin from Britain, 1991. They don't have dollars. I don't believe you. I've got a counterfeit. I've got a counterfeit. It's a little. I'm a little coin. skeptical of that one. Dead giveaway. <laughs> Does it have a UFO on the other side? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's got it's got a kiwi, so it must be a New Zealand coin. New Zealand, there you go. Okay. You see that? Yeah, yeah the Australians, you know, the British, side. they all look alike. Yeah. You know. See, it has it has it has uh, Elizabeth on it. They look alike. They sound alike. Yeah. We have, we have Ghanaian coins in ours. I don't know. You yeah. Can't. yeah. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, this is from Ghana. Ghana. Go what do they use up in Canada? They mm -hmm. use these yeah. UFO coins. Yeah, Lonely no. and Toonies. Those are holy. That's weird. Yeah. Can, can I don't know if you can see? That's one of the U.S. coins that yeah. was made in the Philippines. Yep. It says the United States of America. So the mint, they do uh, dollars and paper money too. Yeah. In Philippines, paper money is produced by no. the Bureau of Engraving and Printing on behalf of the U.S. Federal Reserve. Totally Where? different area. Where is that at? Oh, they're um, different. One in Washington, D.C. D.C. We, we yeah. guess Fort Worth. It is not part of the U.S. Mint organization. Yeah. We guess yeah. Fort Worth because there's an FW on this one. Oh. Yeah. It stands for for the win. That's, uh, <laughs> it, 
F T W. This is F W. Yeah, I know, but they, they just drop the T because you don't want to confuse it I've with the president. I've stayed the night in Fort Worth. I can tell you now. No. no. Mm. There's a coin shop right up the street from uh, from me. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over up there tomorrow and see if I can get a Canadian UFO coin. <laughs> it's, it's a. It's a it. So how many coins will it take to bribe Susan to do scores so I can go to sleep tonight? I oh. found my Australian coin. <laughs> you are so picky, Ron. When I you know, did the coin. you know what the truth is, Ron? You just want to get over and watch and see what's the newest latest. When thing. I did the coin yeah. category, I did yes. years ago. I in, I went to a place you can make your own coin. So I made oh. the Queen of Wiki, the one Gerbic. That's uh -huh. it. Susan. Queen of Wiki, number one Gerbic. And, one, and, one Gerbic. That's the, and the Carl currency. says he says uh one <laughs> Gerbic. He says uh that um it takes 10 Susan Gerbic coins to make one one Randy. Uh, <laughs> that's the, that's the I had one with Mark on it too. I don't know where it is. I couldn't find it in my picture. What is Carl got there? What are you showing? Richard this, this is my Australian $30 silver coin. Oh wow. Huh? That's that is away. You could take one out kilogram the of silver. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty yeah, impressive. That's phenomenal. Oh, yeah. that's big. It's worth a lot more than $30. Yeah. yeah, well, face value. <laughs> How are you going to put that in a vending machine? <laughs> and what I guess you, you can use it to smash the glass of the vending machine and leave it. All the, <laughs> that's the idea. You get all the free chips you want. It looks yeah. like a hurling puck. <laughs> that's yeah. Discus. All right. So we're going to go over the score so we can put Doors. Rob Ed. Poor Ron. Just I tortured. A, Just I have tortured. a flight to catch on Tuesday. Hurry it up. <laughs> Tuesdays, that's a long time from now. Where, Where are you going? And so is the end of this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. Okay. So we have added a point here to the score of forget Florida. Joyzy is the backup plan. Which if it makes a difference. That's the reason why you came up with a lousy name. That's why you're in last place. Sorry. <laughs> you had to come up with better names. All right. So what did you get this round? I believe we got an eight. Ooh. I confirm. Nice. Okay. That, that brought you up there. That was good. That's in fourth place. Back, back here. Okay. Here we go. The team that I'm on, North Korea names U.S. soldier for its first experimental manned space flight. Eight, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah. So this Winnipeg and the Winnipeg and George. Georgia. So we're going to stop here now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got the hiccups. All right. Jesus oh. Murphy. Jesus Murphy, we only got four. I think we should stop. What do you guys think? Oh. <laughs> Why? Five. Oh, we're tied for first. Dun, 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 dun. Did they get one? Dun, 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 dun. Dun. Did they get one? Eight. 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 Really? Wow. Ooh, look at dun, that. Dun, dun, dun. Damn, you guys played a really good nice game. comeback. Look at, look at that. That middle round screwed us. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew anything well, about it. I was on yes. whenever they got 10 here. So just letting you know. So here's my, here's my score. Eight, nine, eight. 10, 8. So just saying. Mm, pretty darn good, Susan. I have like, one. I looked at all my coins and all of them have a D except one, and the one doesn't have any letter on it. That's Philadelphia. That's Philadelphia. Yeah. So it's a pen, it's a penny from 2012. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, well, that could be any of them then. Because they stopped putting mint marks on them in uh 2005. Why? No, no, they didn't. Because I have I have pennies yeah. here from there's one that's uh, 20, 2011, that's a D. I, I think I had some, I think I had a 2023 one. Going okay. So somebody lied to me. So yeah, 2022 has a D on it. No, they didn't stop. Yeah, no, no, they, they continue. That would make Maybe it very they confusing to ever figure years. out what yeah. was made in Philadelphia in the past. And that's, yeah. So Philadelphia week, is the one that's. Next week, we've got it. Carl, Karen, Kyle, Kevin, and Cobb. <laughs> just saying all right can we manage that you guys are all going to go subscribe to my channel 
Yep. Already already have. Have. I think right I now. did that a long time ago. I'm already there. Yeah, we, I've been subscribed. You have 999 of us. <laughs> <laughs> All I need it to get to a thousand. No, nobody did tonight because it's still the same same as it was. But we we all we already did, a long did. Time ago. I thought I was subscribed to it all already. Can you guys make fake accounts and subscribe? <laughs> right, unlimited number of fake accounts is. Well, I need to be a thousand points, point, a thousand things. Well, you've got seven hundred and forty-four. I need a thousand. It's like dry. It's like pulling teeth to get this last little bit. It's really hard. So why don't you, you know what, reach for ten thousand, and then when you hit a thousand, it'll be easy. Oh, what was that, Faith, or who said that? No, I say you shoot for ten thousand, so it'll be easy way when you get past one thousand. Well, that's true. But what you I really said, do it. Richard said for the promo, and Ramiro says you should change your name to Psychic Sex Explained. Because <laughs> <laughs> every time he sees it, it's not Psychics Explained; it's Psychic Sex Explained. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> What I kind saw of content do you suppose she would... said, what in the world does it say? Psychic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I will get you a recording, Richard, promo. I, but I've talked on there and I've gotten a few people from your from the skeptic zone. It's just getting skeptics isn't... It's, We're all skeptical as all. Damn cats. I want to get to the... I want to get to people outside of the skeptic committee, but I just got to get to a thousand and then it doesn't matter because I just, after that point, you're just trying to hit. You got to uh, trick them. You you're just trying them. to get the, the views. So do we just make join my Facebook group. Random tricked, name. Good night, everybody. everybody. Yeah. I think I'll do the psychic. Hi, I got to go. Everybody. I'll Good see night, you guys everybody. in about three weeks or so. Thank Bye, you. Ron, Ron. Safe, safe Thank travels. You, Ron. Thank Have you. Have a great time, Ron. Bon voyage. Bye. All right, everybody. Good to see you guys. Good night. 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 Good night.